All right, hello everyone. Hope you're all having a good day. It's good to see so many of you here. We got uh, Kenzie, hello cousin. Hey Ashton, hey Mad Maxi, Soldaraku, Samu. Hope you're all doing well. And Quinn, Drew, and Iso, of course. Hope you're all having a good evening. I was gonna be showing you guys off the uh, items I've added to my mod here in a moment. Um, I just kind of want to rock out here with, or not rock out, just kind of vibe with some uh, some gorillas here. Hope uh, I hope you're liking the request there, Maxi. I saw you in chat too. Hey, Steven. Hey, to call. Hey, Flame. Hey, LC. And Tail Soccer too. Hope you're all doing well. And Karma Chaos. Let's see. I don't know if you got uh, my response to your ticket, Karma Chaos, but let me know what uh, skin you'd like me to use uh, for a future stream, and we'll uh, make it happen. I don't have your skin here today, Maxi. I still have your request, uh, like, written down. I'm not gonna be doing any, like, skin requests or probably much karate or, like, chow missions or anything today. Um, the main focus is mostly gonna be on trying to, like, actually finish the mod here. Or maybe not. I don't think we'll probably finish it tonight, because there's some stuff I want to keep a secret for when I release it. But, um, we'll, we'll try and get some more models added to it here soon. So here, let me first. Let, let's go to the black market. Let's let's go show off what I've got here so far. Cause you guys, you guys have only seen a little bit of the mod. I think I've only really shown off like the finished cosmic brownie. That's the only one I've like shown like a lot of, I guess. But here, let's uh, go check this out. And yes, there is a Shrek chow. Actually, you know what? Actually, before we even show off the mod, wait, wait, wait. We gotta go appreciate this uh, Shrek chow. One sec. So we do actually have a whole bunch of new chow in our garden. Right, let's see. So there's only a few new ones in this one, but we've got. Let's see. First, we got Spyro. Here we go. This is uh, one of LC's custom chow that they won in the uh, the last stream that we had the raffle in. So there's Spyro. And there's also a Shrek chow, and I did not adjust the stats at all. So their stats, I think, are crazy. What did what did LC set their stats as? Shrek has 5,000 in every stat. So shout out LC making Shrek extra strong, and Shrek has. Shrek's got the really exciting levels here. Watch this, he is. So here's the Shrek Chow. Wait, can I pick them up? They are 5,000 in every stat, yet they are also level 0 in everything. So, very unique uh, set of stats there for the Shrek Chow. Let's see, were there any other new ones in this garden? Uh, I think that was it for this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Chase was here before. So there's two of the new chow added. I didn't take the screenshots of them for this stream and post them on the Discord like I normally do just because this isn't like a regular stream, but before the next stream, I'll give them like a proper Discord introduction. And there's a couple new ones as well that we'll see here um, in a little while. Oh, Mad Maxi, thank you so much for the $5 uh, super chat there. Can we drug my child at least? It fits my child, your, your chili labor laws. I guess it's supposed to be child labor laws that you're implementing. Here, let's uh, let's go to the black market here. Wait, let me let me show off the mod here first a little bit, Maxi. Let me show you what I've uh, created. If you're just off and by the stream. Great timing. I see muscle milk. You're getting here right in time. Let's uh, let's go check out the items I've created so far here. Also, good uh, request, Tail Soccer. All right, so here we gotta go to the debug menu, or maybe they'll actually show up. I still have not seen a single food actually show up properly. So I think there's something in my mod I need to like program differently, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's something to do with my mod order. Like maybe I need to have it above the real world foods mod. I don't really know, but I need to figure that out. But currently you can only get them through debug or spawning. Don't think they ever show up. Yeah, I don't think they do either. I don't know why, but I'll have to fix that. But anyways, look here, let me show them off. I don't think I'll actually be able to show them off all in the black market, because the black market is a little bit bugged. But here, first we got the Cosmic Brownie, which was originally invisible in the black market and then temporarily got fixed. And now it's, uh, <laughs> now it's invisible again, but I'm gonna try and fix that. So there is invisible Cosmic Brownie. You'll see it in the garden here in a second. It's only in the black market that they're glitched. In the actual garden, they're normal. I don't really know why. I'm hoping uh, I can get that fixed here soon, though. That's This is like part of the reason I haven't like publicly released the mod yet is because it's not finished. But here's chocolate bar. You can see this one's not totally invisible. You can actually see a very tiny little chocolate bar in that uh, that little box there. So we'll get a couple of those. Let's keep scrolling down here. The void berries or the cosmic berries are turned to the void. Yeah, I, I got no idea what happened. I didn't even like change the model or anything. So I gotta tinker that. Here's pizza. Pizza is also very tiny in the black market for some reason. Let's keep going. So so far it's mostly just junk food, the brownie, a chocolate bar, and some pizza. It does get a little bit better. Next, we got a cookie. 
So still pretty unhealthy, but there is a cookie. It's also very tiny. Let's keep going here. Still a few more. Actually, I think there's more than a few more. I kind of forget everything I added. This one, there's a pumpkin, shows up really tiny. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the pumpkin in the final release. You guys will see here in a moment though. We've got a pumpkin, an edible pumpkin. It's supposed to be like the normal pumpkin, except Chow don't wear it. It's actually, they like eat it. It's not just like a, a hat. Um, next, we got the Chow beer, which definitely does not go invisible. As you can see, the Chow beer takes up the whole screen. I don't know why the other ones are invisible or tiny, but the Chow beer is like massive. It's way too big. I got no idea why. So, I don't know, some of these, this might be in the final mod when I release it for all you guys. I don't know how to fix these, I'm trying my hardest, but they're just kind of, it's in the mod right now. Um, next we got milk, which also is really big, but not nearly as big as the beer, and it's sideways for some reason too. So, let's get some milk, and then I realize I don't actually have enough slots to buy the last item. Or did we have one more? I'm pretty sure there is one more. I kind of forget, I added a whole bunch of them at once, so I kind of forget what's added and what's like not added yet. Um, oh yeah, the ice creams. Okay, yeah, okay, well, we'll come back to the ice cream. The ice cream are pretty cool. So here, let's go back into the, uh, garden here. <laughs> I like how at the bottom, too, on the screen, the milk is still, like, ginormous. And I don't even, I don't even see the beer. I don't know what happened to the beer. But let's see, so we'll go in. And you can see, now they all spawn in normally. So the mod is, um, functional once you're in the garden, but for some reason the black market is, like, super bugged. But anyways, got the milk. Which is probably a little big. I probably need to make the milk a little bit smaller. But there's uh, the milk. We got uh, the Choa beer. This one I'm kind of considering changing the uh, the texture of. I don't know if I really love it. It's not bad, but I think it could be better. Um, I was actually kind of considering posting it on the Discord and seeing if any of you guys had uh, a better idea for like a label for the beer. I like the top. You know, I like that it's like a, a can. But I kind of I don't know if I like the Choa beer logo on it, but it's 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 still pretty cool. It's in the game. But I think it probably could be a little better. So I might post that and see if uh, any of you guys potentially are able to create something a little better. But then we got the chocolate chip cookie over here. And this one I think is one of the few that's like pretty much finished. I don't think there's much I can improve with the chocolate chip cookie. Uh, the milk I want to make a little bit smaller. The beer I would need to fix the label a little bit. The chocolate bar I might make a little bit smaller. Uh, this is. Uh, very big chocolate bar, but it's pretty cool. Here, let's go give it to Plume. So I might downsize it. I don't know if you guys like the giant chocolate bar, but we'll kind of see. You want to make one, LC? I can just send you the texture. I don't think you even need an, a, a UV map or anything. It's literally just like a PNG image that I have. That I like added the texture as. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll post it on the Discord right now while I'm talking about it. I'll post it... I posted in the Chow Pictures channel. If anyone wants to take a stab at making a a label for a Choa beer and potentially have it in the mod, um, feel free to check the Chow Pictures channel on our Discord. Uh, let me just pull up the texture. Uh, okay, it's this one here. It does have to stay the exact same format though. You guys can't make the picture any bigger or smaller. It has to stay the exact same size. And then don't adjust the like can part at all. Just the uh, the like show a beer part. The can part I think is pretty good. That one doesn't really need to be touched at all. Should I have a, make a contest to make a texture? Well, it's, it's in the Discord. If you guys want to go uh, take a stab at it, feel free. I don't know if I'll have like a big contest or anything, but um, if you guys want to take a, a stab at it, you know. Feel free. It is, uh, it's on there on the Discord. I'd really appreciate it too, because, I don't know, this texture's not bad, but I think it could be better. But anyway, so that's the beer. Um, what else? The pizza? Let's give a pizza to Niv here. Pizza's pretty good too. I don't think the pizza has much that I need to really touch up. Um, oh, and then the ice cream. Wait, 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 let's go get the ice cream. One thing though, I do need to figure out the coding a little bit. I was actually kind of secretly hoping uh, Nostalgia Ninja would maybe stop by the stream at some point. But, um, yeah, okay, Iso's mentioning it. Yeah, Bray put something in these foods. Yeah, there is something a little bit off with the food right now. So the food, and yeah, darn it, still not showing up in the black market. Apart from it not even being purchasable in the black market, the uh, food does actually have some side effects to it currently. But here, I'll explain those in a second. I feel like I need to be in the garden to like properly go over that. Um, here, let's first get a vanilla ice cream. You can see this model's also, really big for some reason 
in the black market. I don't really know why. And I'm guessing the other ice cream will be as well. We have a vanilla ice cream, a chocolate ice cream, and a strawberry one. I might just have to make the models a little bit smaller. Uh, there's chocolate. There already is one mod that adds ice cream, but it adds them in like a bowl. And um, I don't know, I think the cone's like a pretty big part of an ice cream, so I figured I'd add my own ice cream. Okay, here we go. We got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. It's a huge ice cream. In the garden, they're more normal size. They are still like a little bit big. It's one of the things I'll probably fix this stream since it's a, a pretty easy fix. But the, uh, the ice cream is definitely a little bit big. It's not like too big. It definitely could be much bigger. <laughs> um, but there's the ice cream. You see Royal sitting here eating a nice strawberry ice cream. Oh, thank you, Maxi, for the $10 super chat. Villain art going so hard right now. Oh, wait. Did I even get Mad Maxi a Cosmic Brownie? Wait, wait, wait. Here's MM. Do we still have the brownie? Did someone eat it already? Okay, you know what? We're not going to give him that. The beer is still available. MM is going to have a nice cold one. And their stats are actually, like, the levels are kind of messed up for Mad Maxi, so this is good. So we can kind of see, or I guess it, I forgot, the beer is, like, the only one that doesn't really give stats. All of the other foods give, like, a wide range of stats. Um, so here, actually, I'll try giving an ice cream to Maxi after this. The beer is, like, the only one. The beer I intentionally was like, no, nah, the beer can't give much in terms of stats. People can't be raising their chat with beer. But I can scream on the other hand. We can make ice cream happen. So here, watch this. Oh wait, okay, so it only raised swim. Okay, ice cream's not one of the good ones. I think I think cookie is the best one currently. I'm gonna probably change them up in the mod. Let me spawn in some more cookies. Um, but the uh, the cookie, I'm pretty sure, raises like a bunch of stats in every category. Oh, and I didn't even go into the, the fact that the uh, food has something in them. Wait, I still need to get into that. <laughs> Here, the pumpkin's a good one. The pumpkin, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I won't see it with selfie, but the pumpkin like raises swim a whole bunch. Um, I don't even know where the cookie went. Uh, okay, maybe it didn't spawn in properly, but the cookie raises like a whole bunch of points in every stat It's like almost the same as like the mint candy. It just kind of raises like everything a bunch so um, But yeah, each food's gonna have like a bunch of different stats that it raises and um, So who's singing someone's Someone's doing some illegal actions Can't even see who's singing. Is it Royal? Is Royal the one singing in the corner? Oh, it is Royal. Royal's uh Ironically, Royal the Officer here is the one that's doing the illegal action. So sorry, I keep getting distracted. I feel like there's like a bunch of things I've been meaning to talk about. Also, wait, what the heck? I'm checking at Royal. I'm looking at Royal here on the... Oh, they oh, they don't even know how to... They like kind of cheaty. They like kind of sneakily knew how to sing too. They don't actually have the sing lesson. They can only sing from, I believe it's uh, what animal? A parrot. So Royal with the illegal action, but we just took it away. <laughs> Sorry, Royal. Taking away this thing in there. All right, here. So uh, let me let me get to these wheel spins here. Thank you, Debug Mode, for the ten dollars super chat. Give me another cold one, Gus. Beer for Nimbus, please. <laughs> we, we can definitely make that happen. We can get Nimbus some beer. Uh, it's actually cool. That we can do that now. We can actually give Chow beer. But so here, actually, real quick. Sorry, before I get to these wheel spins, I feel like I need to go into what these foods do, and you can actually probably tell right now actually which Chow have eaten some of the foods because we have a whole bunch of Chow sleeping right here. Um, Selfia definitely ate one. Plexi ate one. Um, I don't know if these two did. Mad Maxi did. Mad Maxi sleeping too. But right now, so the, the Cosmic Brownie was the first food I made. I kind of want to go here. I gotta, I gotta like spawn it in here real quick. So I kind of wanted to try and like explain this. Um, so let's see here. Hopefully this actually works. I'm trying to just spawn some in real quick. For some reason it doesn't like always work properly, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. Okay, let's re-enter the garden. Uh, let's see. Anyone see a cookie or a cosmic brownie anywhere? Oh, here's the cookie. It's getting all soggy in the water. Okay, so here, let's give this to, let's give it to Lemon. Lemon could be our example, chow. But basically, also, what is up with their hands? Is that because of the guns? Oh, the guns are like looking all weird there. <laughs> so thank you, Banana Melon, for the $2 super chat. You just discovered this channel, absolutely love it. Oh, thank you for the uh, the kind words there. Also, that is quite the interesting profile. Or banana Melon, your picture is a, a, literally a banana melon, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And Maxim, thank you so much for the uh, ten dollars super chat. Put out some magic brownies. So here, we're we're gonna start explaining that. That's what I've been trying to talk about for the past like probably five minutes. And I keep getting sidetracked. Um, you'll see. Actually, so lemon, lemon ate the uh, the cookie we gave them, and look, they fell asleep immediately. So what happened was, I currently have it set that when Chow eat a cosmic brownie, they get really sleepy. Um, they get slightly dizzy. And what's the other one? I think they get a little bit hungry too, is what it is. I'll have to double check the code. I'll like pull it up here in a little bit. 
but it makes them sleepy is like the big thing. Now the problem is I haven't fully figured out the like modding and coding process yet. There's still like a lot of it I don't really fully understand. And one thing I haven't figured out is how to make it so that every single food item has different effects. I have not figured that out yet. So currently every single food item in the mod, even though like supposedly like healthier ones like the milk and... Well, it's just the milk, I guess. I don't think any of them are actually all that healthy. But all of them currently have the same effects that the cosmic brownie is supposed to give. So that's something I'm going to fix. But currently, every single food item in the mod has the effects that the weed brownie is supposed to give them. So that's something I need to fix here. I think I sort of know how to fix it. I just don't know the exact code to type in. So I'll probably, if I don't figure it out this stream, I'll probably figure it out uh, like later tonight or tomorrow. Um, I, d I definitely know like what I need to fix, I just don't know exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna do that soon. But yeah, currently every food item makes a child really sleepy, which is, I think, why most of the child in our garden are currently passed out. So here, let's quickly spin the wheel and then we'll switch up gardens, and I'm gonna try and get some actual mod work done. It's been live for 20 minutes, I haven't really done anything yet. So here, let's uh, open up the wheel. Let's see, was it Maxi's first, I think? That is Maxi, and then we got debug mode, and maximum, I believe. Make sure I'm not missing. Yeah. Okay, so here, let me pull up the wheel. There we go. So here, first we'll do Mad Maxi. Thank you so much, Mad Maxi, for the uh, super chat there. Also, I see kids saying I'm jugging the chat. Yeah, currently, it's only temporary. This is not how it's going to be in the final mod. And actually, I think I might change the mod name too. I don't think it's going to be the Choa Performance Enhancing Foods anymore. I think it's just going to be Choa Foods. So I want to add like a bunch of normal foods and not have them all be like crazy with effects. Also, I like that the Shrek Chow is just running in circles here. But here, let's let's spin the wheel. Thank you, Mad Maxi. And look, uh, MM the Chow actually woke up right in time for the wheel spin. We got a Chow mission. I'll have to add that here on the spreadsheet. Thank you so much, Maxi. Let's see. Oh, and now MM's doing a little dance. Here, let me try and adjust the camera a little bit. Doing a nice little dance. As the Shrek Chow is still, <laughs> still just running in circles. Nice. All right, here, one sec. Let me get that written down. And then we'll get to the uh, next wheel spins here. Bro put narcotics in the food. Not intentionally, but yes, I definitely did on accident. The only one that's supposed to be intentional is the Cosmic Brownie. That's the only one at this point that's supposed to have like that kind of effect. And maybe the beer. The beer I definitely want to have some kind of like negative effect too. I'm just not sure exactly what that will be yet. Probably dizzy, maybe give them stomach ache. It definitely will be bad, but we'll see. Um, so next, let's get, uh, I think debug mode is next. Yeah, now it's debug mode spin. So yeah, Maxi got the chow mission. Let's see what uh, debug gets here. Thank you so much for your support, debug. And we've got treat time. So perfect. So we can definitely go get Nimbus some beer. We'll go do that right away, actually. We'll go into, uh, I believe Garden 2 is where Nimbus is. So we'll go drop them off a beer. Kind of hang out there for a little while. And now we've got Maximum. Thank you so much, Maximum, for supporting the channel. And Maximum gets a chow race slash karate request. Oh, nice. Here, we'll get that written down. Yeah, let us know uh, which I'd like to see race or fight maximum, and we'll uh, we'll make that happen. I don't know if we'll get it done this stream, just because uh, we're kind of mostly just focusing on modding. But uh, we'll definitely get it done soon, though. Oh, Crypto, thank you so much for the $10 tip. And thanks for using the uh, tip link, too. really appreciate it. Best late night snack is cookies and milk, also pets for cats. I would give them some pets if either of them were with me right now. They are both sleeping on my bed, I think, in another room. So I will... I'll get them uh, some pets once I see them, or hopefully they'll come over and join us at some point. But right now they're actually um, not anywhere close to me, but hopefully they'll join us soon. But yeah, thank you so much, CryptoArt, and thanks for using the uh, tip link too. Really appreciate it. And Mad Maxi also going for another spin. You're a glutton for gambling. <laughs> Alright, here, one sec. Let me let me go get a beer for Nimbus, and we'll, we'll get these next two wheel spins going. We'll get a whole bunch of beers, actually. You know what? Screw it. Garden 2, I'm pretty sure Garden 2 is the Chaos Garden, right? Let's just give them a whole bunch of beer. Why not? And for Ultimate Chaos, they're not even like getting totally normal beer. Cause it's the beer at the black market that's like... <laughs> uh, that like just completely takes over the whole black market. Yeah, it does say it's not for baby chow. It's also slightly more expensive than um, the other foods. The other foods, I think, are all like 200 rings. Or is the beer's a little bit more expensive at 500. Five leftover entries, but one a prize. Can you redeem them? Yeah, you can redeem. It's only the ones that you won you can't redeem. So you'd lose, I think you won one prize if I'm remembering right. I think you won 
Uh, it was either a mission, I think it was a mission request, if I'm remembering right. It's on the spreadsheet, but you, so you take away one entry from whatever you had. So I think you had like 61, if I'm remembering right. I might be wrong, but if you're at 61, then you'd have 60 entries to like exchange, if that makes sense. Here, let's go up here. Got the beer ready. We'll drop it off for Nimbus. Also, I'm really curious to see what LC comes up with for the uh, the beer label. Or anyone else that's working on it, too. I don't know if anyone else in chat said that they were going to try and make a new beer label, but I'm um, very curious to see what LC comes up with. All right, so here, let's get, let's get Nimbus that beer. Definitely a little bit dangerous that they have a beer uh, in the garden. They're rocking the machine guns right now, so just kind of a dangerous combination, but um, here you go. <laughs> Let them sit here and drink the beer. And let's open up our wheels. So let's see. Oops, that's a spreadsheet. That. Okay. So let's see, what was the order we got here? I think it was Crook Gerard. And then Maxi. Yeah, Crook Gerard's first. So this one's for Crook Gerard. Thank you so much for your support. We got Tree Time. So we'll definitely uh, we'll get uh, Crook Gerard's chow here. Uh, some nice uh, some nice food. I'm trying to think what we'll give him. Maybe, maybe a chocolate bar? Uh, we'll see. But uh, now for Maxi, spin number two. Let's see what Maxi gets. Maxi gets a race slash karate request. Thank you so much, Maxi. Add that onto our spreadsheet. I think Maxi's got quite a few requests now. Let's see. Oh, it's actually the only uh, race slash karate request. It's the missions I'm thinking of. Maxi's got two missions right now. We'll maybe do some requests later on, but the requests are kind of like low priority here for this stream, so it'll only be if I'm like kind of running out of stuff to work on for the mod that we'll probably start doing some of those. But I'm definitely gonna start working on these uh, things I was wanting to work on here right away. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is I want to look at the pumpkin model and see if I can improve it. Um, so here, actually, I'm going to quickly spawn in a pumpkin, just so I can... I don't think I really went over the pumpkin very much with you guys. Um, so one of the ones I'm, I'm honestly not too sure if I'm going to keep it in the mod. It really depends if I can get a better model or not. Okay, here's the pumpkin. It's supposed to be the pumpkin model directly from Sonic Adventure 2, but I'm pretty sure it's the version... Like, it's ripped from the Dreamcast version, not the GameCube or, like, any kind of HD version. So the model doesn't really look the greatest. Um, I don't know. I don't really know if I'll end up keeping it or not. I thought the pumpkin would be like a, a fun food item to add, but I think I might want to go with like a different item. Also, dang, we got more chow with uh, illegal actions here. Oh my gosh. These new imported chow are uh, coming with illegal things here. They're singing. They got instruments too. Just double checking. Yeah, wow. Cloudy and Lumi both. Oh my gosh. It's rule breakers here. For anyone that's maybe just newer to the streams, we have a, a rule in the Cho Garden that uh, instruments and singing are not allowed. Mostly instruments. The so singing we kind of occasionally let slip by, but uh, instruments definitely not. And the main reason is because we have 24 Chow in the Garden most of the time, or like usually over 20. We have like 21 in the ch Chow in the Garden right now. So if they all start singing at once or just playing instruments, it just gets very hectic and very loud and frankly kind of annoying, if I'm being honest. They're not very good musicians, so we have all that stuff. Uh, banned for the most part. There's some child that still have it, but there's just very few. For the most part, it's all gone. But here, let's go check them out though. Okay, here's Lumi, one of our new child. There we go. And hopefully they're uh, they're all correct here. You'll have to let me know back in mail. Um, so once again, I downloaded like the .child file from you guys, and the accessories didn't really come through. I also did notice that you guys, or maybe it's just back. I'm not really sure, but you had the like white like rabbit mod on, or I, I don't know what it's called, but the one that turns the animal parts like white. Oh, sorry, I gotta turn this music up. There we go. Um, so I, I might try and download that. I'll have to see. I might have to do like a little poll for people that have animal or like the rabbit parts, whether we want to go with white or pink. Um, I don't think there's a ton of chow in the Chow Garden that do have rabbit parts, so I'm trying to think like Nana, Mad Maxi, and like like these two, like uh, Neona and just Lumi are kind of the only ones I can immediately think of. There probably are some others I'm forgetting about, but we might uh, eventually get some white rabbit parts going. The same one the family, but he does use the match sometimes. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens, Soldier Rock. I see Soldier Rock who's bringing up like a conspiracy kind of going on. Royal's taking bribes maybe now. <laughs> for the child with SADX rabbit parts? Wait, do I already have it, like, enabled? Wait, SADX rabbit parts. 
Or, I, mean, I probably don't. It's probably still a mod you need. But you're saying it, like, doesn't overwrite the yellow parts? Like, you can have both yellow and white on, like, a save file? Also, wait, am I just misremembering Maxi? Does Maxi not have rabbit parts? Maybe Maxi doesn't. I don't know. There's too many chow here in this garden. I don't know. I can't remember all of them. For some reason, I thought you had rabbit parts. I think I'm just thinking of, uh, like, real-life Maxi, I guess. Because you're always talking about how you're a bunny. Probably just getting mixed up there. Also, hey, Gert Cakes. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe not that many chow have rabbit parts. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll to look into that mod. Okay, I think I'm gonna start trying to work on some stuff. I think the first thing I wanna do uh, for the mod for today is fix the ice cream. So here, I'm going to, I'm just gonna quickly spawn one in just so we can quickly look at the problem here. All of the ice cream like flavors in the mod have the exact same model, it's just the texture's a little different. So, hmm. It looks really good when Sonic's carrying it. It looks like it's a proper like normal size, maybe a little bit big for Sonic, but it's not bad. But yeah, pretty big. And it kind of falls through the ground, too. Also, Mad Maxi, of course, requesting Mad Space. <laughs> Alright, here, let's, uh, let's give this one to your eye. So, yeah, the cone pretty much entirely clips through the ground. I'm trying to think how I would want to do this. I want to make it quite a bit smaller, but at the same time, I do like how it looks like the Chow's actually like eating the ice cream and not the cone. Whereas if I do make it so the cone's not clipping through the ground at all, they'll mostly just be eating the cone. So I don't know. Let's let's try and fix this here. So I'm gonna set up the garden or the camera here. Oh, and there's Void Zero. Void Zero is none of those rabbit parts. Although I think Void Zero only recently got rabbit parts. I don't know if they always had them. Let's set the camera here for a little while. Or actually, no, we'll, we'll change up gardens. We've only been in two gardens so far. Let's change it up, and then we'll open up a uh, blender here. Let's go garden. Let's go garden. Sure. Although we'll probably be reloading here pretty soon anyways, but let's go garden one for a little bit. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna get far food with some food. Let's go do that right now. Far food, we'll get some chocolate bars and stuff. And some ice cream, you know, we'll get, we'll get like a bunch of ice cream anyways, I gotta, I gotta test that. Let's go vanilla. Yeah, let's buy a whole bunch of vanilla ice cream. If you give your child mint candy, they eat the wrapper. Yeah. <laughs> if you give your child a can of beer in my mod, they eat the whole can too. It's crazy. So uh, thanks for sticking around for four months, uh, Steven. I think you've been watching the channel for maybe a little bit longer than that, though. Maybe not continuously, but I know uh, you've definitely been around for more than four months. So thanks so much for uh, watching. Okay, so here, let's, uh, let's find Farfugle here. We'll give one to Sapphire first. Oh, there's Farfugle. Sitting by the pool. Perfect time to enjoy an ice cream. Also, I need to remember to fix Farfugle's stats. I'm pretty sure I said that last stream, too. Okay. We'll leave these guys here at the ice cream. And now I'm gonna open up Blender and start working on this. And hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully this like doesn't overload my computer. I'm gonna be running OBS, Sonic Adventure 2, Blender. Like there's gonna be a lot running on my computer here, so hopefully it doesn't crap out. Let's we'll see what happens though. Okay. I'll try and show you guys what I'm doing on Blender. Let's see if this actually like works. Okay, here we go. First, I'm gonna open up. And I wanna open up my ice cream model. Here we go. So here's our nice ice cream model. It's ripped from another game. Uh, basically, all of the models in this mod I didn't make. The only one I've made is the Cosmic Brownie uh, model. All the other ones are ripped from other games, just because honestly they're way higher quality than anything I'd ever be able to make. Like this, this ice cream. I believe it's from. Uh, it's either Animal Crossing or a Tomagotchi game. I definitely have plans to add some Animal Crossing stuff. I can't remember if this one's from Animal Crossing or not. I think it is. I think this is from Animal Crossing New Leaf, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. So if any of you guys recognized it, that's where it's from. Here, so now we're going to downsize it here a little bit. It's gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna need to try and make all of the three models like the exact same size, which will be a little interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. 
Can I add bees to the food mod? But you just want them to eat bees? <laughs> also, I'm glad you recognize it, shrimp. I figured you would. I know you're a big Animal Crossing fan. Okay, so let's make it a little bit smaller. And then I know I gotta reposition it. Okay, so it's like quite a bit smaller, and I like lowered it. So here, before I even bother adjusting the other flavors and worrying about those ones, let's just test if this one even is better. Save this model. Now I got to import it into my mod folder. This isn't going to be like a mod tutorial for anyone that wants to learn how to mod. I'm just kind of showing um, like very base. I don't even know if I'll be showing very much. I'm just kind of working on it while I'm streaming. I won't be giving a tutorial or anything. But Still might learn a thing or two from watching. Okay, what did I export that pile is? Okay, here we go. I forgot about this song from uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. It's a good song, uh, Soul Draku. Alright, so now I'm gonna reset my game. I should have it now with the updated ice cream model. So we'll check if this worked or not. You guys will get to see in real time with me whether I screwed up or not. Very excited. Probably will be uh, quite a few game crashes this stream. I'd be pretty shocked if there wasn't. All right, let's close Blender. So yeah, basically, I'll just quickly zoom in, I guess, show what I did. Basically, just made it a little smaller, and I lowered it down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it very much. There's like a red line here that kind of shows like the base. Also, is my Blender covering the alerts? Oh, it is. Adachi Chow, thank you so much for the tip. Here, maybe, where should we move the alerts? Let's see. I wanna make sure I'm not missing uh, Adachi Chow's message. Right, and we'll replay the message here real quick too for Dash Chaff. The new mods are pretty cool, Chova. Awesome work. Thank you so much, Dash Chaff. Right, wait, let's let's get into this. Let's go see if this uh, this new ice cream is working. And here, we'll spin the wheel for you in just a moment. Just wanna, whoops. Just wanna go see if uh, the ice cream is a more normal size now. Let's go garden. What garden have we not been? Let's go garden three. I don't think we've been there. SA2 is good, but it's hard to mod. It definitely is not the easiest thing, and the form of modding I'm doing is probably like the easiest form there is, if I'm being honest, I think, at least from what I've heard. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a little tricky. Not impossible though, definitely not impossible. Someone in chat being a turd. Clint's, or K K Kylan, the master saying destroy the mods. Don't like my mod, dude? No mods, manual grind. <laughs> nah, modding's the way to play. Modding's awesome. And here, let me turn up this Wobble Dogs music. I might have to eventually get some like new versions of the Wobble Dogs music for the play as Tail Saga. I think these ones are a little bit too quiet. So every time uh, you request them, I have to like completely turn up the volume. They're good songs, though. I'm definitely down for them in the playlist. I think we just might have to... Oh, no. <laughs> I might have broken the ice cream. Oh, my. It's really vanilla ice cream now. Oh, my. Uh oh. Well, let's let's see if this worked. I don't I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Uh, is it gonna look normal in the garden, or is it messed up there too? No, but it's just completely messed up. Okay. So why did the heck did this happen? It's a more normal size. If anything, it's too small now. Let's see. What's it look like when a chow eats it? And it's still oh, it still goes through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically everything I just did made it worse. Awesome. I love that. <laughs> just became the soft serve itself, no cone. Yeah, it's just all soft serve. Why the heck did that even happen? Alright, here, let's let's now figure that out. What just happened? We okay, open up Blender. Did I mess up the texture? I have texture settings now. 
Oh, I just straight up forgot to even like set a texture for it. Okay, so that's easy. That's an easy fix. I know what to do for that. Now let's, uh... Okay, let me open up Blender, I guess you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright, so I already know why it turned into full-on soft serve. That's easy. But now we're gonna move it upwards a little bit, too. So I don't really like how far I lowered it. In fact, I think I meant to raise it. I don't know why I lowered it at all. I'm pretty sure my initial goal is to raise it. Okay, let's try like that, maybe. Double check it's still centered. Okay, we're looking good. And now let me actually fix this. I gotta open up my SA tools. I won't show this on screen since it's kind of a boring program. But it's like the texture editor for, uh, for Sonic Adventure. Okay, so it's supposed to be texture number 13. I, for some reason, just didn't even put a number in for it. Texture 13. There we go. Is this the boss battle music playing right now? Oh, it is. Oh, this is a remix. What the heck is this? What the heck is this song? I don't remember this song. This song's pretty good. What the heck? I don't remember ever hearing this. Are you supposed to be taking notes? <laughs> no, you don't have to take notes. It's, I'm just trying to show stuff off if anyone's curious. But no, no, uh, no note taking required. There will not be a test or anything. Okay. So here, I'm gonna try. We're gonna try resetting the game here in a second again. Uh, hopefully with a new working ice cream cone. Reset, quickly save, and reboot our game. Yeah, usually when I'm uh, streaming, I only have one headphone on. It's not too often I like put on the second one, but this song's pretty good. I put on the second one here for this. Oh, Elsie made a texture. All right, here, the one sec, Elsie. Let me let me double check here. I'm just gonna double. I'm just gonna make sure this ice cream's working, and then we'll. We'll pull up that texture here. It's a gun boss you can fight in Shadow the Hedgehog. Did I ever fight this boss? I don't know if I ever remember fighting this one. It's very possible I avoided it. There were some pathways in that game I just did everything I could to avoid. Okay. Let's see, I'm just spawning in the ice cream. All right, should be one in the dark garden. Ice cream. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I think maybe I made it too small and it's kind of floating. At least the texture's back. That's good. Okay, so I need to, to make it bigger. And I don't know if I even need to lower it. Just by making it bigger, it might fix the floating. Here, let's just give this to someone. What's it look like when they eat it? Here's one of our new chow Shulk. We actually have two new chow in this garden. We have Shulk and Isabel. Um, it's uh, their chow that DeCurb asked me to make. They wanted a chow based off a of Shulk and then a chow based off of Isabel. The Shulk one I didn't come any, even close. I'll fully admit that. I got no idea how the heck to make Shulk in the chow garden. But um, I think I did not terrible on Isabel. This is the same song again. What is this? Oh, just like, they also just have the original version, I guess. Or very similar to the original version. Where's Isabel? Oh, here's Isabel. So yeah, Isabel, I think I got a little bit closer with Isabel compared to Shulk. But, I don't know. Neither of them look very much like the character they're supposed to be. But hopefully the curb's okay with that. <laughs> I tried my best. Shulk, I don't know. Shulk could probably be done a little better, but... The curb, I had. Or, uh, not the curb. Isabel, I think, I did a good job. I'll see how the giant pancake up top. I'm excited to have uh, some giant uh, food items for my mod. I also, while I was making uh, some of the models, oh wow, we had a bunch of chests sleeping in the pancakes. <laughs> I didn't realize there would be so many chests sleeping here. Here, let's reset so that they are not so sad. 
Should have a Pangea cake. <laughs> Ariel. But, um... Yeah, eventually we'll get some giant versions of my foods in the garden. Um, at one point I made one of the models so big that even though it was like a normal sized food in the garden, it was still like giant. So that was kind of interesting. So we still have the forbidden pancakes hidden in the hill. I don't remember, was that garden? Was that this garden that had it? Garden 4? Probably. Is. Yep, there's still the forbidden pancakes. I can't even like push them out or anything. But yep, there's still the hidden pancakes uh, inside the mountain. <laughs> The secret pancakes. Oh, good uh, request, muscle milk. All right, here. Uh, let's pull up the uh, ice cream model again. Got to make it a little bigger. What's wrong with my camera? I'm like trying to set it in a completely different spot. For some reason, it's going all the way up here. That's weird. Oh wait, Elsie. I want to check Elsie's texture. That's right. Elsie said they sent a texture. Let's see. Try this. Show up here. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, here, let's try this. Here, let me, I'll pull up on stream here so you guys can see the uh, texture LC came up with. All right, so LC came up with this one. It'll probably look really low res on screen just because it's kind of a low res texture. I kind of like the look of it. It kind of gives me like Stardew vibes. It kind of looks like it's like a pack of seeds from Stardew, but instead it's a, a beer. So I, I do like the I do like this one. I'll actually I'll show the texture I didn't initially. Or I'll show the texture I initially made. I guess is how I should phrase that. Um, I didn't end up adding it to the mod. I ended up replacing it because I just didn't think it was very good. But initially my texture was actually going to look like this one. <laughs> but then I realized it looks like the chow's like dying. So I don't really like it, but. Uh, I'll see the similar idea though of having like a chow face on the side. Um, so yeah, that was that was my original one, a chow that looks like it's uh, like drunk or something. But it's got the heart. I think the heart's a nice touch. But here, let me uh, let me pull up that texture. Or here, before we let me. Okay, wait. I'm gonna fix the ice cream model and the texture all in like one fix here, rather than doing like two separate ones. There, let's open up Blender. All right, so let's make this ice cream a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. How much bigger should I make it? I feel like this is like now almost the same size it was originally. I don't know. We'll try it. Oops. Okay, get it centered. There we go. All right, so we'll now export this again. Okay, and now let me try adding this texture for, uh, the texture uh, LC sent. Chow beer. Okay, so I'll move the original texture. Also, sorry if I'm like talking to myself a lot this stream. Uh, this kind of helps me with the body process, make sure I even kind of understand what I'm doing. Um, so I don't 100% know what I'm doing. I know enough to like sort of get this working, but as you guys saw in the black market, the mod is definitely not working uh, as it should, but it's close enough that it's still functional. It still works, even if it's not perfect. Alright, I'm going to reset the game here in a second with the uh, the new ice cream cone and the new uh, Choa beer texture hopefully working. Okay, let's exit out. Also, damn, we're getting a lot of shout out the Hedgehog here today. <laughs> Maxi was talking about their villain arc earlier. I feel like this music's kind of like supporting that. And it's from like different people are requesting too. It's not all just one person. So we got Banana Melon with a request, Sold to Raku. I think Bowen had one of them earlier. Uh, are there any gardens I haven't been to yet? I don't know. Here, let's just go to five to test it. I think there's still some beer in this one. The Shadow Hype. Yeah, wait, isn't that new Sonic X Shadow game coming out like sometime kind of soon? That Generations uh, remake? 
All right here, so here's the ice cream. Oh, that's looking like a great size. And it's not floating anymore. Perfect. Here, let me close the bend, uh, blender on stream here. All right, let's see. What's it look like when someone eats it? Okay, it still kind of looks like they're eating the cone, which I didn't really want, but as it gets smaller, it'll look more normal. Perfect, okay, I think the ice cream model's like pretty good. I think, I think that model is about good. I don't know if that needs to really be improved at all. Okay, so now I'll just have to adjust the other ones to be like that one. And here's the new Choa beer. Wow, this looks a lot better than the other one. I like how it like doesn't look like kind of glitchy around the top like mine did. Here, let's, oh, Uriah's going for it. Oh, Uriah's a baby Chow, I think, right now. Or did they end up evolving? I know Uriah reincarnated not all that long ago. Is Uriah adult? Okay, they are evolved. Okay, good. <laughs> Gonna say, I can't let a baby child be drinking the beer right away here. I'm liking that texture. Here, wait, I think I need to spawn one more. I didn't really get a good look at like the actual text on it. Let's see. Let me spawn one more. Here, I just like ate that one really quickly. Just downed it right away. Okay, here we go. Oh, and actually, I can make one really big too. That way we can really see the texture. Okay, now there's a beer in here that's twice the size of what it normally will be. Here we go. The mega beer. The tall boy. <laughs> Since you're used to flying text changes them. Remember chow drawing replacing the normal chow drawing? That'd be pretty cool. I got no idea how to do that, but I would really like to do that. Like that definitely is possible. I know uh I'm trying to remember who it was. There definitely is someone who replaced some of the chow drawings in like a mod and added some like pretty Fosbear drawings, I think, or something. So it's definitely possible. I'll have to look into that. Okay, the chow beer kind of clips through the ground when it's enlarged, but the normal model's not bad. Oh, and it says Choa beer, too. It doesn't say chow beer. It says Choa beer. I like that. <laughs> I don't even know if I noticed that right away. Here, wait. I feel like I need to get the flat ground to get like, a really good proper look. I think it looks really good. The Choa beer. Yeah, I really like how it looks like... It's probably just because I've been playing like a lot of Stardew lately. But it seriously looks like it's like some seeds, you know, you put these in the ground in Stardew and, you know, you'll get some hops or something, you make some Choa beer in Stardew or something. I don't know. <laughs> I like it though, this is really cool. Oh, and Niv's going for it. See, I don't know, I think, I think I'll probably go with that texture, unless anyone else submits any other textures. I don't think I've seen anyone else submit any, but this might be the texture we go with as long as Elsie's cool with it, you know, being in the mod. I'm assuming Elsie's probably cool with it, or else I don't think they would have probably made it, but... Um, look at that, got a little tall and it even looks, it looks like Niv's actually drinking it, their mouth's like going towards like the little like open hole. Look at that, it looks like they're taking a little sip, wow. And now they're happy and just, <laughs> yeah, that's what all the foods do, they make the chow happy, they do a little joyful dance, and then they usually fall asleep right after, that's kind of how it works. Or sometimes if they're really tired, they'll just fall asleep right after eating whatever the food is. And again, if you missed it earlier, the reason it does is because all of the food are currently programmed to be set to the same as the cosmic brownie, which is supposed to be like the the weed brownie of the mod. So every single item gives the effects of that. And see, yeah, Niv now a little bit tired. A little bit tired here. <laughs> oh, Thanatos is working on texture as well too. Oh, sick. Oh yeah, I see they're typing Thanatos. All right, awesome. I'm excited to see what you come up with as well. I also was thinking about adding like, so there's the chow beer. I'm thinking I'll also probably add a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, some kind of like can of Coke. Actually, I see Brooks mentioning Joja Cola, like chow cola. I was thinking about adding something like that, like a chow cola. And I might even be able to do it this stream, but I definitely have like a cider model downloaded that I was gonna add. So it'll be like beer, cider, and maybe, maybe even wine eventually. I don't know if I'll get to wine, but I think wine would be a pretty cool addition. Yeah, Chaos Cola, that might get added. I don't know I don't know what I'd do for the model on that one, or for like the label. The model, I'll probably use the same one I already have, but just change the label, like for the beer. Yeah, we'll get some cola, some wine probably, some cider definitely. In fact, we'll probably do the cider here like right away. Um, so we haven't really, I haven't really added anything since stream started. All I've done is fix the ice cream cone and I've been live for 50 minutes, so. Let's, let's start adding some new stuff. I haven't even gotten to the coding at all this stream. So here, I'm gonna set the camera here. We're gonna watch this chat and I'm gonna try and start adding some new stuff. Oh, don't, thank, sorry, Dash Chat, my bad, sorry. I got so excited about the ice cream cone. <laughs> sorry about that. Here, get that pulled up here. Let's see what Dashi Chow gets. Maybe another Chow drawing? 
Hidashi Shai, I think, has been the one that's landed on this the most. Let's see. Wow, I was actually kind of close, too. Chow mission for Hidashi Chow. And thanks for your patience there. Sorry about uh, getting caught up in my mod there. So I'll add the Chow mission on our list here. Let's see, do you have any missions currently? You, you're usually like pretty good at using them pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, I don't see your name on here right now, so we'll add it on. There we go. Alright, so here, let's, uh, I probably should fix the other ice cream cones before I start adding another thing, so maybe I'll do that real quick. Uh, but then I will, we'll see, well, maybe I'll do a little poll in chat on what you guys think I should add here first. Let's see, what do I have on my list? You know what, screw it, let's do a little poll. I don't do polls enough nowadays. What item should I add next? Also, I forgot we even had the song in the playlist, Soldier Rock Group. <laughs> I feel like this is definitely gonna get copyright claims, so this section will probably be muted, but in the future, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll oh, save the ducky? Oh yeah, there, let me go get him. I don't know how that sometimes happens. I don't know if it just sometimes glitches in the pool or if it's every time it's in there it's because I threw it in. I don't think I throw it in the pool that much though. Or maybe if you leave the garden while Chow's riding in the pool, maybe it gets stuck in there? I don't know. So let's see. What item should I add next? Should it be a donut? Should it be... Uh, should it be a chocolate heart? Or should it be... Oh wait, actually no. Okay, we'll put a couple of them. Couple more options. All right, here we go. There's a poll coming up in chat here for you guys to vote on, and uh, whatever you guys vote on will be the next thing I add. I'll most likely end up adding all of these to the mod anyways at some point, but whatever one you guys vote for, we'll add this stream. If there's like a specific one you guys want to see right away. Kind of surprised Mario Mushroom's not getting more votes. I thought that would have been one that people would have been interested in. <laughs> Ah, oh, that makes sense, Mel. Yeah, I think it probably is it. <laughs> oh, this song is definitely not Pokemon. This is from Undertale. This is just... It says it's apparently using the Explorers of Sky sound font, but if I'm being honest, this sounds exactly the same as the normal version to me. Maybe this part's slightly different. I don't know about you guys, this sounds exactly like the original, even with the Explorers of Sky sound font. Gumball Sonic Ice Cream? Oh my god, that'd be awesome. I don't... I don't know if I'll be able to get that one, because I doubt a model already exists of it. But... Um, that'd be pretty cool. Gelato differentiate them. I could potentially do that, yeah, it's not a bad idea. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was gonna fix the ice cream models. I'm getting distracted too much. Okay, so the blender. All right, so here's the normal ice cream model. And now what I'm gonna simply do, hopefully I don't completely screw this up. I am going to basically save this one as the other one. So this one's gonna be ice cream chocolate now. Save. I ought to fix the texture. So we're gonna go 14. I guess you guys can't really see the texture stuff I'm doing, probably, at all, but... Uh, so no, I'm changing the texture. There we go, there's chocolate. And it's 14 the texture editor, right? Yeah. Alright, chocolate ice cream. I'll get that one saved now. I think I might keep them as ice cream sold directly. It's nothing against, I think it's Nova Star who has the other mod. It's not that I'm trying to like one up their ice cream mod. I just think it's really cool having cones. And I feel like people don't really eat gelato with cones anyways really. So I feel like it might be a little bit unfitting to call it gelato, but definitely an idea though, potentially gelato instead of uh, ice cream. Also there's definitely like a, a green ice cream. I decided not to add that one though, just add strawberry instead. But 
could potentially eventually end or add a, a green ice cream too if I want. But for now, I think just the three kind of core flavors is probably good enough. All right, so I think I got the models all good now. Hope they didn't completely balls light up. Let me start transferring over the files now. Oh, here, let me end this poll. Actually, no, I'm not gonna end it right now. It's like so close. I'm gonna give, give you guys like another minute or two here. Chocolate Hearts is like barely winning right now, but when I say Chocolate Hearts, think of like something that someone were to give you on like Valentine's Day or something, you know, with a little like ribbon around it, kind of like a romantic type of gift. I do have a model downloaded for that, so. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. I think, it, I think it'd be a good addition for the garden. I'll be resetting the game here in a second. I think I got the ice cream all good to go now. Let's see, let's quickly save. Uh, exit. And let's, uh, let's see if that worked. Let's see if all of our ice cream's looking normal now. Or if it's just the vanilla that's working properly. All right, here, I'm gonna end the polls. It looks like chocolate hearts, what you guys wanna see first. We'll do that one right away here. Also, hey Choco Cats, good to see you. Welcome to the community. Hope you're enjoying yourself so far. Decide which stage to go to. Who are you Maybe you could work like the hard fruit. That's not a bad idea, Ashy. I'll have to look into that. I still gotta figure out how to do specific kind of emotions and stuff uh, for like certain items, but that's definitely not a bad idea. That definitely makes sense too. It'd be kind of cool to have like a replacement for the heart fruit because there aren't really. I can't really think of any other mods that add like a heart fruit replacement. It's all just kind of like normal foods. That's actually a really good idea. Definitely keep that in mind when I'm doing the coding uh, later, Ashley. Thank you for the uh, suggestion there. All right, here, let's see. Do they look any different in the black market now that I've changed the models? Okay, no, it's still a little bit big here. I don't know why. So yeah, just heads up. When you guys download the final version of this mod, very good chance it's gonna look a little bit goofy in the black market. Most likely we'll have to spawn in here. I'm hoping I can somehow fix that, but I don't I don't really know how. So we'll, we'll see. I do want them to be able to spawn normally in the black market, though. That's something I really want. So it's kind of annoying that it's not working properly at the moment. All right, here, let's go into the garden. I forget what garden I even picked. Uh, looks like we're in garden four. Let's go down here, go to the beach. And nice, okay, that worked perfectly. Didn't even have any like trial and error. No crashes. We now have three very nicely sized ice creams that are not way too big. And they still look pretty good with Sonic holding them. Sonic's actually like holding the cone now, whereas before he was holding like the ice cream itself. Here's Uber, could be a little uh, tester here, see what it looks like when Chow eats it. They're hungry. They haven't really even had a bite yet. They've just been staring at it. <laughs> oh, they are hungry. Okay. Just really wants to take in that ice cream first, I guess. Just look it up and down. Oh, they're like shoving their whole head in too. All right. So I, yeah, I think the ice cream's good to go. I might adjust the stats a little bit on it. I think all it raises is the swimming. But apart from the uh, like a, fixing the emotions and stuff afterwards, I think the model and everything's all good. So, uh, kind of finish up with that, and we'll go on to the uh, chocolate heart next. Thank you everyone who uh, voted in the poll. I'm definitely gonna drink some water here. Thank you, Nightbot. Yeah, the pink one's strawberry. We got strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Although, uh, Uber already ate the chocolate one. All 
All right, so here, let me pull up the model I have in mind for the chocolate heart. I'll give you guys a, a visual on that one. It's take me a minute here to get it set up. I don't know how many foods we'll actually end up adding here today. Um, I definitely am a lot less productive when I am streaming. You know, the last hour, if I had just been doing this off stream, I probably would have gotten a lot more done, if I'm being honest. But it's been a lot more fun hanging out and talking with you guys. So we'll keep going here. I'll keep getting some work done, even if it's uh, at a little bit of a slower pace. All right, let's see. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, so I was talking earlier, the, um, the ice cream was from uh, New Leaf, or Animal Crossing New Leaf. The uh, milk also is from that. Same with the chocolate heart. The donut, the cider I want to add is from that. And there's actually another ice cream too I was going to add from uh, from Animal Crossing New Leaf. There's going to be like four different ice creams in my mod. Look at distraction. What? Oh, oh is it because I was thinking about how slow I was going? You guys are now trying to distract me even more. <laughs> Nice, good job, guys. All right, open that blender. And import this new model. The format, D-A-E. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's the chocolate heart loaded in. Uh, let's see, does it have, oh, it does have the colors, okay. So you can see it's kind of this big, uh, whoops, big like brown box with a red ribbon going around it. I don't know if it's a box or it's the chocolate itself that's wrapped up. I don't actually know, maybe it isn't a box. Maybe it is actually just a big piece of chocolate that uh, has like a ribbon around it. Uh, it's been a long time since I played New Leaf, so I don't actually remember what it looks like in that game specifically, but this is ripped straight from that. But it might look slightly different. So here, so first, it kind of starts at like a weird angle. We're gonna have to try and fix that. We're gonna go rotate and try and like lower it flat. There we go. And now I want to move it a little bit. Move it back to center. And right now it's definitely kind of floating in the air a lot. Generally, you want them to be a little bit below the half line is kind of my understanding for the models. So I'll put it a little bit below the the like floor, which is the green line. It probably has an actual term for it. I just don't know it. Should we skip this since we already played this that long ago? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, let's skip this. Yeah, this wasn't played that long ago. Thank you for the request, though, uh, Vivi. Oh, it looks like the mod skipped it in chat <laughs> before I even had a chance. <laughs> All right, right here, so... Is a chocolate heart? Let's see. It's probably a little bit big right now, if I had to guess. We'll just kind of leave it as is, though, without farting around with the size too much. But we may have to change that. Chocolate heart. Let me get the texture sorted out. The cool thing about, like, downloading models... And I'm kind of making my mod on, like, easy mode. Like, if you're going to go and actually make your own models and textures and everything, the mod making process would probably be, like at least three or four times like longer um like for example with me importing this model from new leaf i can probably add this into the game if i wasn't streaming i could probably do this in about 10 minutes like code it and like get it set up to go in game but if i was making a model from scratch you know it would take me like 10 times as long as that just to make the model probably and i'm not very good at blender i am pretty much all of my blender experience comes from this like mod making process so I'm definitely not skilled enough to make a model like this, even though this probably isn't the most complicated model of all time. I think some of the other ones I'm using are a little bit more uh, complex, but um, yeah, I definitely couldn't make this one though. So that's kind of why we're uh, why we're importing models, just to make it so that the mod can actually come out in a reasonable time period, and so that the mod's actually good, because straight up it'd probably be terrible if it was all just my own uh, uh, models. The green line is the y-axis. Ah, so I guess, okay, that's how I probably, so you want to put your, your model just below the y-axis, typically. If you put it above it, then you'll end up floating. Will I make bacon? I could add bacon. I'm a little bit unsure how to handle, like, meats and stuff. I, like, technically on the pizza I have, I'll actually, I'll put up in the garden here real quick. 
technically the pizza I added does have pepperoni on it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which is a little bit concerning because Chow in the base game and everything just straight up don't eat like any kind of meat or anything. They're basically vegetarians. Even in like for basically every other, every other mod that exists for the Chow Garden, there's not really any like mods that I know of that add like any kind of meat for the Chow to eat. So bacon's definitely a little bit of a controversial one. Um, where the heck's my pizza? Maybe it's with the the pancakes in the hill. Okay, I don't know. I tried to spawn in some pizza. But my pizza's got like little pepperoni slices. Could do vegan bacon. You've seen them eat chili dogs? Oh, that's right. Don't they... Is it in like a Sonic video that they do that? Or is there an actual mod that adds chili dogs? So I'm kind of thinking maybe it's like a, a Sonic the Hedgehog like YouTube channel video. Like the channel space one or something. Maybe they eat a chili dog. Here's pizza. Yeah, our tiny little... <laughs> I love that the pizza's so tiny in the black market. I don't know if I love it. I wish it was a little bit... I wish it was just normal, but... If it had to be glitched, I'm glad it's at least, like, very tiny and, like, kind of funny looking. Alright, here we go. So, yeah, look at this pizza. This pizza... This is definitely, like, a pepperoni pizza. So, it's a little bit questionable whether this is... Within, like, the ethics of Chow, but... Whatever, it looks really yummy. The child like it. That's what we got. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've mostly been herbivores. I think you're right about that, Ashy. Yeah, there's the. Uh... Oh, I think my controller unplugged. Okay, well, I guess we'll just leave the camera where it is. My controller's not, not working, but I'm gonna get back to working on the model here. Gotta set the texture correctly. So it'll be texture number 16 in my mod. Got a lot of textures. Alright, so already just like that, assuming the model's not too big, which it probably is, um, I'm basically already done like the blender process for this model. And like it didn't even take very long. And that was with me like talking with chat a whole bunch. the camera over here and now I'm gonna start doing a little bit of coding this is probably where I'm not gonna be able to pay very much attention to the chat um, but I don't think it'll take me all that long it'll only take me like a few minutes probably and I'll try and show you guys like a screenshot too for anyone that hasn't seen anything like this before because honestly I hadn't before I did this um, straight up I'll just take a screenshot of like most of the code and you guys can take a peek at it this isn't everything, but it's like a large chunk of it. Probably like two thirds of the code for this mod. Pull up on screen here right now. So if anyone really wanted to, you probably could copy it. But I don't know if it's worth your time. It'd probably just be better to make your own mod. Let's see here. Let's. There we go. So this is only like two thirds of the code. Maybe I'll like zoom it in a little bit. Um. It's definitely a little bit intimidating to look at at first, uh, but it's not overly... It's not too bad. Once I had the first fruit done, the other ones became, like, much easier. The first one, I'm not gonna lie, was, like, pretty intimidating, but uh, it wasn't too bad after. So you can see there's, like, all these different line items, so I'll go... The line at, like, very top of the screen now, it says define models, and there's, like, brownie, chocolate, pizza, cookie, pumpkin, beer, milk, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, so that's... The first one I did was the brownie, which is tough, but then afterwards, it's basically just been copy and pasting and changing out the different values. So you can see now at the very top says define black market attributes. So you can see I set the brownie for 200, is what it costs to buy, 100 to sell. And then all the other ones are mostly the same except for the beer, which is a little bit more expensive. But making the initial mod is really hard, or maybe not really hard, but definitely a little bit difficult. But adding more foods to the mod, not very hard at all for the most part. So it is a little bit complicated, but not too bad. And at the bottom here you can see or now at the top of the screen, you can see um, where I put like all the black market descriptions and whatnot. Now I'm probably gonna change up some of these. I don't really like what I have as the caption for a bunch of them, but um, I just, I don't know. It's kind of low priority at the moment, because it's pretty easy to change. So I'm just mostly focusing on getting it working, but I'll probably change up some of the captions uh, eventually. Cosmic Brownie, this came from space. I kind of like that one. Although I probably should, I probably should add like a warning eventually, like not for children or something. Um, chocolate bar, I like that one. Chocolate! Yippee! It's supposed to be like, 
kind of referencing the like chocolate guy from SpongeBob, but then I also just wanted to add Yippee. I don't know, maybe I'll take out the Yippee eventually and it'll just be chocolate and like all caps or something. And then, yeah, I'll just leave the other ones up there while I write the rest of the code here, but now we're adding chocolate heart. So basically now what I'm doing is just going down the line. So I'm starting right up at the top with model info. So you guys won't see it because you're not actually seeing my, my live page as I'm like work, writing on it. But now I write right below where the strawberry MDL is. I'm writing now chocolate heart MDL. And I'll basically just be going line by line and adding like chocolate heart as like an extra option there. So if anyone's at all curious in trying this yourself, um, I definitely encourage you guys to give it a shot. Um, from my understanding, making a food mod is one of the easier ones to start off with. That's part of the reason I did it. Also just, I think the garden needs more food anyways, so it kind of just worked out. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's definitely possible. If you know computer's okay, you can most likely get it done. I've gone into this with zero coding experience, and here I am. Now I'm basically full on hacker man. Pretty cool. For the chocolate heart, I think for now I'm just going to give it the exact same stats as the chocolate bar, just because I'm too lazy to really think about it very much. But it'll just do the same thing that the chocolate bar does. And then the emotions and stuff, eventually I'll try and make it so it's like a heart fruit. I just gotta still kind of figure that out. And let's see, has anyone got any good ideas for captions in the black market? If anyone's got any suggestions? We're gonna call it. Should it be called Chocolate Heart or should it be should it be called something else? Should it be called like Romantic Gift? Or what do you guys think? Here, I'll maybe I'll pull up the model again so you guys can see it. It's this like Chocolate Heart. It's got a nice ribbon on it. Anyone got any ideas? I was originally just gonna call it Chocolate Heart, but I don't know. if... That's probably not the best. I think we can maybe do a little better. that special someone. Give this to your sweetheart. Or sweetheart for the name. Sweetheart for the name's not bad. But I also like give this to your sweetheart. That's kind of, that's good too. The only thing that sucks a little bit about that is Chow can't give it to Elder Chow. So if I do put give this to your sweetheart, it kind of like implies that Sonic is, the, like the Chow is the sweetheart of Sonic, which if you're being really wholesome is like cute, but also kind of is like a little bit weird because it kind of might seem like Sonic's dating the Chow, which is also a little weird. But I do like, I do like the sweetheart though. Life's like a box of chocolates. I don't even know if this is a box, I gotta figure it out. It looks like, I originally thought it was supposed to be a box, but now I've looked at the model more. I think it's literally just a chocolate heart with like a ribbon on it. Or I don't know. Edible ribbon with chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, it's all about the ribbon. The chocolate's just, it's just, it's just with, ex with chocolate. It's just the extra, the afterthought. <laughs> also, Rainbow Annie, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You should make Chase's cookies. Wait, you should make Chase's cookies. It gives them a happiness perk. The cookies do currently give happiness. Um, do we have Chase in this garden now? I don't think Chase is in this garden, but uh, once we get back into Chase's garden, we'll go there eventually here. We can uh, give them a cookie and you can see uh, how it does raise happiness. Basically all the food does here. We'll give this pizza to Alto. Um, you'll see here in a little bit, Alto should start doing a happy dance after they eat. And currently all the food have the exact same like emotional effect. I do want to change it so they all do different things, but I just haven't uh, figured that out quite yet. So I think we'll call it, I think we'll call it Sweetheart. I like that name. We'll call it the Sweetheart. And for the caption, I think we'll go with Hmm. I do like life like a box of chocolates. That's not a bad one. I'm a really big Forrest Gump fan. Yeah, I think this food will be like really good for like photo shoot smell. Like when people are like making gifts of their chow or just taking little screenshots. I think this like food is like kind of designed with that in mind. For kind of moments like that, you know, pretending like Lumi's giving it to time, or you know, maybe Royal's giving one to Mad Max, or vice versa, you know. Chase wants to be a baker? Chase wants to make some pizza? 
Thank you so much for the $2 super chat, Rainbow Entity. That'd be adorable. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, man. Wait, you got the textures for Chaos? Wait, there's an actual Chaos Soda texture? What? Oh, it's like from the billboards. Oh, interesting. I didn't even like think about doing that. Maybe I could like... Kind of, yeah, kind of like in that picture you sent. I'm guessing that's from a comic or something. I don't know what that's from. Interesting, yeah, maybe I could... I probably wouldn't put Primal Venom on it, but I could cut it off like just below the Primal Venom that you sent. It's not a bad idea. Okay, I'll have to look into that bone. Thank you for saying that. You definitely have like a Chaos Cola. Although maybe I'll like slightly edit it to be like Choa Cola or Cho. I guess, oh, it was actually Chaos Cola and Chaos Soda. I kind of like the blue one better. I think I'd probably go blue and it'd be, Cha maybe it'd be Choa Soda. Maybe we'd have Chaos Cola and Choa Soda. Maybe it'll be like a blue and red one. Like maybe do like the exact same thing, but just like two different ones. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do for that. Let's see, sorry. I still haven't even picked the caption or the description here. Let's go with... Well, we'll put for that special someone, even though it kind of maybe has weird implications, but we're gonna, we're just gonna do it anyways. That special someone. Okay, so we got that set. All right, almost done. Almost had the chocolate heart in the game, will not be much longer now. On like the last little line of code here. So what is this song right now? I don't know if I remember the song playing on stream. It's Phantom Hourglass. Ah. I explain why I don't know. Alright, chocolate hearts. What do they call the model again? Oh, it's the alert from earlier. Thank you, Rainbow Entity. Because dang YouTube uh, super chat alerts. I don't know why they always come so much later. That super chat was kind of a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. YouTube uh, a little bit slow. But thank you so much, Rainbow Entity. Really appreciate it. Alright, so here now I'm going to try building my code. See if it worked. A nice, no errors. That's a very good sign. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. There definitely still could be problems, but there weren't any like immediate issues with my code, which is a good sign. So I'm gonna add over the model that I created. Can you see Chase, you have to go soon? Here, one sec, we're just about to reset the game to double check the chocolate heart works. We can definitely go check out Chase then. Yeah, thank you so much for the $2 super chat, Rainbow Entity. Just be another minute here. It won't be much longer. Oh wait, I think I have to close my game. There we go. Okay, so let's try... Oh wait, I forgot to even add the texture. Wait, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself here. I shouldn't have closed the game yet. <laughs> I need definitely another minute here. Um, it won't be long though. That one, six, nine, okay. Never mind. Okay, actually, I was way quicker than I thought it'd be to fix. All right, so now we're gonna start our game. We should have a chocolate heart now in the game. And assuming this works, this will kind of go to show you like how quickly it really is to add food to the game once you already have like the base mod set up. Because even with like talking to you guys in chat and like getting distracted playing the game a little bit, you know, it still only took like maybe 20 minutes tops, probably less. Here, let's try going garden. Is Chase in garden 5 or garden 4? Uh, let me double check real quick. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, they are in garden 5. Okay, that's what I thought. Garden 5. Alright, let's see if this works. Hopefully we can get a chocolate heart, and hopefully it looks somewhat normal in the black market. Let's see. Sandwich? Eggman sandwich from Unleashed? <laughs> I don't know if I know what you're talking about. I haven't played Unleashed enough to, to know the sandwich. I wish I knew what sandwich you're talking about, though. Maybe it can go in the mod. I'll have to see. 
All right, so let's see. So you can see Sweetheart here is now an item we have. Let's see, hopefully it doesn't crash the game as soon as I click it. It didn't, wow, and it actually, it's one of the more, <laughs> it's one of the more normal looking items in the black market here. It's a little bit big, and for some reason it's like leaning backwards. But hey, you know what? We can actually see it. That's a lot better than uh, the pizza and the chocolate bar that are like microscopic. Whereas this one, at least it's it's too big. I'd rather have it be a little bit too big than too small. Like the beer, even though it's massive, it's kind of funny. I don't mind it. All right, here we go. Let's see. I think we're in the normal garden. Yeah, we are. Okay. And damn. Okay, so yeah, the model's way too big, kind of like I initially thought. But look at that, we got some chocolate hearts added to the game that did not even really take that long to make, even though it's clearly a little bit broken and needs to be adjusted, which I will fix here in a moment. But look at that, it's actually a chocolate heart. And the model actually looks better here than it did on Blender. So on Blender, the bow I thought looked a little weird, but in game it actually like kind of loads up normally. So let's open up Blender now and let's go fix this. So this is a lot of the mod making process is troubleshooting, trial and error, that sort of thing. So let's see, so right now it's a little bit too low and it's a little bit too big. So we're going to scale it down quite a bit. Uh, maybe like that big. And then we'll move it back to the center here. And I need to I need to raise it up a little bit, right? Yeah, it was a little too low. Let's see, can I still see it in game? Yeah, these ones are all kind of floating through the floor. We're clipping through it. So let's raise it upwards now. Maybe try like, like that. Usually you want it below the y-axis, but a lot of the time for like the really flat items, you need to make them a little bit higher. Like the pizza and the cookie are both like that. All right, now let's try this again. We're gonna export it. Oh, one nice thing about this is the trial and error process usually is like really quick. But here, let me, real quick before we start my game, let me just double check we're actually seeing Chase. Chase is in here, right? Where is Chase? Colorful guy. Yeah, there we go. Here, we'll sit and stare at Chase here for a moment before I reset my game. So I've already got the model updated and hopefully working properly. But we'll see here in a second. Where did I just save that? So now that we've seen Chase for a little bit, let's close this real quick. We'll load up garden, or the Olive Garden here again right away. Also, hey Kenzie. Are you here earlier? I remember saying hi, cousin. Uh, how goes the mod? It's going. We are adding in a nice uh, chocolate heart. Something that maybe a buddy can give Lim, or not Lim, give Nana here soon. Although maybe you can give one to Lim too, but I'm guessing buddy's probably mo mostly focused on Nana. Wait for one sec, we get a nice chocolate heart let's restart our game here close blender too Are there no eggs other than chow eggs i was thinking about adding like an omelet or something for like eggman because eggman's got like that new ihop like omelet i also thought it was maybe a little bit weird having eggs be edible when the only other eggs in the game are like actual baby chow eggs that have living chow in them so i don't know i might I might add some kind of omelet dish. I probably won't, if I'm being honest, but uh, I don't know. It was something I definitely considered. I was just a little bit concerned about the implications, I guess. I don't know. This mod's kind of a slightly edgy mod. I'm a little bit curious to see what, like, the general chow modding public thinks of it once it gets released. Could definitely add some kind of, like, unorthodox items, like the beer and the fact that the cosmic brownie is essentially just a weed brownie. Um, there's not really any mods that add stuff. I guess there's like the gun mod, like that. That's probably the closest thing. But even that's like, I don't know. I think most modders in like the states, guns are legal there. Weed brownies aren't legal. <laughs> there's also, I don't know. There's there's a lot going on here with this mod. It's it's an interesting mod. Okay, let's go back into the garden here. The other uranium, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something I'm still gonna be working on. There's gonna be a whole bunch of performance enhancing pills is my plan. Those will probably be like, the last things I add to the mod. 
But eventually I'd like to add uh, some pills that like raise power a lot, like basically steroids. And then um, some other interesting stuff like that too. Like the, the radioactive or uranium one. So I definitely need to lower the mod a little bit now. And it probably needs to be even smaller too. I thought I made it maybe too small, but nope, it's still too big. Okay, so I'll troubleshoot that here in a second, but let's go check out what Thanatos did here for the texture. Let's see, where did... Where Thanatos sent it? Oh, here it is. Ooh, I like that one. That one's pretty good, too. Let me see here. I'll pull this one up on screen. Thank you for doing this, Thanatos. Not show on screen. Here we go. Choa beer. With a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a dizzy chow. A chow's been drinking. Yeah, these are both really good. This one and the one else he did. You can see chow running in circles. Is it the Shrek chow? No, Shrek chow's sleeping. Oh, it's Frank. Frank stuck in a loop here. Yes, up. That one's the one that Thanatos did, and there's this one at LC that's in the mod right now. I like both of them a lot, honestly. They're both really good. I'm curious how this one would actually look in game with like the yellow. I wonder if it would like make the text easier to read or make it harder to read. I'm not really sure. But uh, thank you for doing that, Thanatos. It's very good. It's Plexi drawing shadow. Just a regular dark chow for them. Right here, I'm gonna open the blender again. I'm gonna fix this uh, chocolate heart. All right, so I need to lower it a bunch and make it even smaller than it already was. Did I put it like way above the line? Okay, I don't know. Let's uh, let's make it smaller first. Now it's like quite a bit smaller. Position it in the center. I think it's maybe a little too low now. I'm gonna bring it back up a tad. All right, now we're gonna reset our game again. This is the modding process, a lot of opening and closing the game. Close that. And we'll start it up again here in a second once I get the file transferred over. All right, let's see. Hopefully it's the right size this time and not floating in the air or clipping beneath the floor. That'd be great. Let's see. Final select. Decide which stage to go to. Who are you going let's to go, uh, let's go garden three. Or do garden two. Maybe it can be different brands of beer, have two different brands. What if I had a darker blue background to make the yellow pop more? Here, let's let's go into the black market. Let's go spawn in a beer and a chocolate heart. Maybe we can uh, evaluate it a little better. Oh. <laughs> Crap, we got the giant beer just already ready to go here. Love that. Okay, so we got four beers. And now let's go get a uh, chocolate heart. Or Sweetheart, sorry. Sweetheart's what it's called now. For that special someone. There we go. And thank you for your guys' help with the uh, the names there. I appreciate it. Or the name in the description. Alright, let's go... Uh, what garden are we in? Let's go to the beach. Here we go. Alright. And darn it, it's still floating. And now it's maybe too small. I might have overdone it. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's see, who's in a position? Here, Calivax. Okay, when they're eating it, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's a good eating height. Definitely needs to be a little bigger though. I definitely overdid it on the size. Darn it. Okay, eating it, it actually looks good. The height looks really good while they're eating it. So maybe I don't even need to adjust it. Maybe they're just gonna forever be floating a little bit. It's not like the worst thing in the world. The pizza and the cookie definitely float like a tiny bit. Not a lot, but it definitely is like a tiny bit of floating. I 
get the Choa beer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's gonna be a really tough choice picking the final texture there. But thank you so much, Thanatos and LC, for making the uh, the Choa beer textures. Really appreciate it. I really like both of them. If one or the other like didn't exist, like say LC never made one or Thanatos never made one, like I would have been okay using like either of them for the mod. Like I think they're both really good. I'm just not sure which one we'll, we'll go with. But here, let me try fixing the chocolate again for hopefully like the fourth and final time. Back in the blender, let's make this thing a little bit bigger. Maybe like that. And I'm gonna lower it ever so slightly now. Okay, hopefully this is the final edit. Adjusting the positions of the models and sizes kind of sucks. It's not a lot of fun, but it's pretty easy to do at least. Okay, so here, we're gonna close our garden again. And load in that new chocolate heart. There we go. Nice. File select. Decide which stage to go to. Who are you going to be? Floating isn't too bad. I've seen some other mods do that. Yeah, I'm okay if there's a little bit of floating. I just want to make it... I want to make them all look, like, somewhat good, just, like, before I publicly release the mod. Like, the black market, they're all kind of screwed. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that before I, like, publicly release it. But I do want to try and make it so that they all, like, at least decent in the garden. And, like, all function properly. Um, depending how quickly I can figure out the emotions part of it, you know, making it so not every food's the same as the cosmic brownie. And, like, if I can figure that out relatively quickly, then I think I could see this mod getting, like, publicly released probably, like, over the weekend. But that's like a really big thing I need to fix because I don't want all the foods to act like the Cosmic Brownie in the final release. Um, Sweetheart should not be making Chow really sleepy and dizzy. <laughs> yeah, we might just have to leave it with the floating. Sweetheart contains slight amounts of chaos energy that allows it to float gently above the ground. Yeah, I think that's just what's going on here. Let's see, how's it look when they eat it now? No, now it looks weird and they eat it too, so I guess we do have to lower it even more. Now the eating's not even normal. But the size, I think, is pretty good. The size is, like, roughly... Roughly what I want, I think, for the size. It's, like, about the same size as the normal food. It's not, like, too big or too small anymore. So now we'll just lower it one last time. Hopefully this is the final edit. I'm not even open up Blender for this one. I'll just do it off screen here. Lowered it a tiny bit, not even that much. But look at how happy Nimbus is after eating that chocolate heart. Or that sweetheart. Gotta get used to that new name now. The working name's been Chocolate Heart this whole time, so it's messing me up. Alright, reset the game again. And hopefully now for the last time for the chocolate heart. to go now. Boot up the game. Alright, Chocolate Heart should be good to go now. If it's not, I'll be like shocked. I'll be shocked here. The excited dance of the guns looked a little scary. Yeah, Nimbus is a little bit of a, a scary child because of those guns. I feel a little bit spooky. So they're one of the only child that actually even have guns now. It's like them and Lemon. I think that's like it. There's a brief period where like multiple childhood guns, and then it kind of like lost popular uh, lost popularity pretty quickly. And here, this time I'm gonna try spawning in the sweetheart. I don't think I've actually spawned it in yet. Let's see, does this work? Oh, nice. I think they're just here from before, anyways. And nice. Okay, perfect. I think I think I got it good. We'll have to see what it looks like when someone actually eats it. We can give one to Lemon here. Speaking of guns. And that looks not bad. Even though it clips through the floor a little bit, I think it'll look better once they eat, like, one bite of it, probably. 
And it really doesn't even clip through the floor that much. It's like barely clipping. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, I think the chocolate heart's all good to go now. Watch Frank eat one here. That's a good song request, uh, Tail Saga. I feel like I haven't heard this version in a little while. The regular version's been requested somewhat recently, but I don't know about this one. Okay, there we go. So chocolate heart, or a sweet heart. All good to go, I think. So how many foods am I at now in the mod? Let me double check my code here. I think we're at 11. Probably should just have them all memorized off the top of my head, but... I'm not very good at remembering all of them, so there's kind of a lot now. We are at... 11 foods, yeah. So honestly, I, there's not like a whole lot more I want to add to the mod. Like, there are the ones that were on the poll earlier, like the cider, wine, probably. Um, there's definitely some other ones, like the donut. So I'll be adding those, but a very large chunk of the mod is done at this point. Apart from getting the emotions like working properly, which honestly I'll try, I'll try to sort that out tonight. Even I don't, I don't think I'll be able to do it on stream unless Nostalgia Ninja stops by. So that's basically what my plan is going to be: is basically just ask Nostalgia Ninja what they think. So let's see, maybe, maybe I can DM them right now. We'll see, maybe if they're available to help out a little bit. Here, I'm just going to screenshot a section of my code for them. Alright, here, one second. I'm opening up Discord here. Let's see if we can get the expert modder here to potentially give us some guidance. I don't know if they'll respond anytime soon, so this might not help right away, but we'll see. Just sent a message off to Nostalgia Ninja. We'll see if they respond while we're live. If not, that's cool too. Not a big rush to like finish the mod right away or anything. Um, or even fix that like part of the mod. The emotional effects of the food is kind of minor. Not like minor, minor, I guess. It's pretty important that all the chow don't get sleepy after they eat, but you now the food's in the garden. We got most of the important stuff working. Just now the other somewhat important stuff. Oh, Hydrate, thank you for the reminder there, Soldaraku. You get to enjoy Plume with the accordion. It is an illegal accordion, um, but Plume is officially one of the only Chow. I think Plume's actually the only officially sanctioned Chow, but uh, Plume has gotten the correct permits and licenses that they need, where they're actually now allowed to perform a tiny bit of music in the garden. The accordion is very quiet. They, get, they only got permits for some of the quiet instruments. They got permissions for Let's see, double, let's double check. They got the castanets, the flute, the trumpet, the guitar, and the accordion. Iso, uh, during the last stream, ended up winning the custom chow prize. But instead of getting a new custom chow, they asked if they could uh, instead get some illegal goodies for Plume instead. So now Plume is uh, officially licensed and permitted to, uh, to play the accordion and uh, some other instruments too. They're only sort of legal. They're they're only legal with permit. And uh, Plume is the only child currently that has a permit for it. Can Ducky have drumsticks? I don't think there are any drumsticks in game. They definitely can't have a drum. A normal drum is way too noisy. But if I could somehow just give them drumsticks, I'd do that. But they do need a license. How long will the permits last? 
The permits last until they're revoked. So unless Plume goes absolutely crazy with like the flute or something, they'll probably last forever. But we'll see. Maybe Plume will just one day decide to play the flute for like half an hour and get the license canceled. I don't know. Or in that case, I'd probably just like give them a cosmic brownie and get them to go to sleep for a little while or something. I don't even know if the license would get revoked. I'd probably just uh, give them some foods. <laughs> give them some foods for my mod. Let them go to sleep for a little while. Also, wow, Nostalgia Ninja responded like right away within one minute. Holy crap. Shout out Nostalgia Ninja. Like, I'm when I eventually make a video going over the model, I've got like a bunch of people to shout out. But Nostalgia Ninja is like right at the top of that list. Um, this mod would definitely not be here without them. So, shout out Nostalgia Ninja. I don't, Nostalgia, uh, they're probably not watching this, but I mean, off chance you are Nostalgia Ninja, like watching this in the future or something. Uh, shout out to, to you. Ace for Nostalgia Ninja? Yeah, definitely. Send some A ranks for them. I don't know if they'll ever see it, but. Um, they definitely deserve some A ranks for sure. They made like the whole like mod creation guide, not only for the fruit mods, but for like accessories and custom chow and stuff. So they're awesome. Just shout out Nostalgia Ninja, frankly. They're, they're just great. Lemon's been really hungry this stream. It might be partially because of the food we gave them. The food right now in the mod definitely, I think some of the food makes a chow actually more hungry when they eat it. it like, some free shots, something I added with the cosmic brownies, it doesn't actually fill the belly. It, like makes them hungry because I get like the munchies but then it applies to every other food so that might be from the beer that lemon had it made them like more hungry she was a sleeping joke that's basically what the cosmic brownie is gonna be karma chaos that's it's gonna make the chow really happy and then they're gonna fall asleep very shortly after while also getting hungry. That's like the intention for that one. The beer, I was gonna make it, it's gonna make it so Chow get dizzy. If I can make it work, I wanna make it so they got like a stomach ache from it. And, and high energy probably, like high energy. And maybe like high lonely so they're more likely to talk to other Chow I think might be kind of fitting. Cause I feel like people normally get more talkative when they've had some beer. So making a Chow lonely will make them more talkative so I can add that. Um, what else? The chocolate bar is gonna make Chow really hyper. It's gonna increase their run stat quite a bit, or I think it actually already does. I don't think I've really shown the chocolate bar very much this stream, but the chocolate bar is definitely one of the cooler ones. Uh, let me load in one real quick while I'm talking about it. Let's see. Here's a chocolate bar. It's the one model I maybe still need to fix apart from like the pumpkin. Oh, I'm probably just gonna remove the pumpkin, but the uh, chocolate bar is very big. Probably needs to be sized down a little bit. I uh, won't see it actually because Plume is eating it. Plume's run's already maxed out, but it raises the uh, running a whole bunch, which is cool. Yeah, I like the chocolate bar. Yeah, it's gonna, my idea for it is to make Chow really hyper, like the energy gets really high, and maybe it'll make it lonely too, so if they are more talkative, kind of like for uh, Chow beer maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I gotta, I'll be doing that all soon. I don't think I'll do it on stream here because the coding part is honestly pretty boring, and it kind of takes a while too. But I'll see if I can maybe properly code like one of the fruits here this stream to not be like the cosmic brownie. It's Nostalgia Ninja. Oh yeah, they just sent me the code here. Let's see. They need to create a function and to call it using the chocolate bar as an example. Wow, they even added. See, Nostalgia Ninja is awesome. They they sent me the code, but they even like personalized it specifically for my chocolate bar that they knew I made. Well, I didn't make the chocolate bar. The the chocolate bar added to the game. I didn't make it, but. Damn, Nostalgia Ninja just... There's a little clap there for Nostalgia Ninja. Round of applause. Nostalgia Ninja is awesome. All right, let's send him a nice message here. I have to try and figure this out. I don't know if I'll be able to figure it out on stream here because this is definitely a little bit more complicated than the code I was doing earlier. But I'll try and see if I can figure it out. It might just mean that you guys are staring at idle garden footage for a little while while I'm tinkering with this. But we'll leave this here. And hopefully soon we can get the chocolate bar working properly. So if I can get the chocolate bar working, that'd be sick. 
The big thing is I just don't want all the food to be like the cosmic brownie. All of the chow always getting the effects of the cosmic brownie is not good. They need to get some normal effects from their food. Milk should not be making chow dizzy and really tired and not filling my stomach at all. Cosmic brownie? Yeah, that makes sense, but not the milk and the other stuff. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try and figure that out now. Let's see. Okay. I've gotta figure this out here. Create a custom function of the format. Okay, I think I actually get what they're typing down here now. I think I just had to read it over a few times, but I think I'm already kind of understanding it a lot better than I was initially. Initially they sent me and I was like, oh yeah, they sent the code. But then I looked at it and I'm like, I don't know what any of this means. Awesome. But now I'm like kind of understanding it a little bit, I think. Oh yeah, we've been in this garden for a while. Thank you, Soldraku. Let's change it up. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we've been in garden two in a little while. Let's go garden two. Fun to make the Chovex coffee. I could try adding coffee. That could be an interesting one. It had probably the same effect as like the energy drink, but I'll keep that in mind. We'll see. I don't. I don't really know how many foods I'm gonna end up adding with this mod. I don't really want to go like too overboard. I feel like right now, honestly, even like the 11 we're at, plus all the ones I'm planning, it's we're gonna be like probably at least 15 foods, which might be a little bit overboard. Especially since a lot of them are not like all that polished. Like the black market's still like slightly screwed up with all of them. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how many I can add. I'll see if I can get coffee in there, maybe. There's some Chobucks, I guess. Chobucks specifically, not just any coffee. Chobucks. Uh, this is the, uh, it's called, like, the Dark Coast Garden, uh, Dally Gwyn. It's on Game Banana. It's really cool. I'm pretty sure it's based off of Emerald Coast. I really like it. I only discovered this one, like, fairly recently, even though it's, like, at least a six-year-old mod, I think, but... Um, I really like it. It's probably like my new favorite dark garden skin, honestly. This or maybe like the spring happiness garden or whatever it's called. That one's pretty cool too. And same with the Aurora one. I also like that one a lot. Yeah, that would be like uh, probably what I'd put for coffee, Adashi Chow. Definitely uh, make them more awake. Like sleepiness would go to zero. Uh, energy go to like maximum. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be like, it'd be pretty crazy, but Sucker for the Lunar Void. That's the, uh, the moon one, right? The one that takes away the water? That one's pretty cool, too, if that's the one I'm thinking of. I'm pretty sure that's the one you're talking about. That one's a cool one. That one's another one that I actually just, like, I didn't even discover. It was LC who told me about it. That's another one I, like, only heard about, like, pretty recently. Yeah, the moon one. Yeah, that one's awesome, too. I kind of wish the Hero Garden had more, like, cool custom garden skins. I feel like the Dark Garden kind of, like, destroys the Hero Garden a little bit. Like, there's there's definitely still some cool Hero Garden ones, but there it doesn't feel like there's as many as there are for um, the Dark Garden. The Dark Garden's got a lot. Also, look at Void Zero here evolving up on the tree. Also, well, the cocoon goes through the leaves. That's interesting. Here, we'll watch Void Zero here. They're gonna fall off the tree, probably, right as soon as they evolve. Or maybe they'll just still sit there and chill. I don't know. There we go. And let's see, what are they going to do? Are they going to jump off the tree in celebration? They're just going to have a nap, maybe? Oh, they're going to cry. Wow. None of the options I said. <laughs> they're a little hungry. Oh, now they're going to dance. What? So they're hungry, but they wanted to dance a little bit. All right, here, one sec. I just got to move Sully. Sully's actually decided to show up. He's like... Messing with my microphone right now. Let's, uh, yeah, he's an adult now. Let's go get a chow of beer. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's go, let's grab a beer here for them. Oh, they might just end up crying again, but let's see. Here, sorry to interrupt your dance. Now that you're an adult, here's a beer. Yeah, they just want to do their own thing. <laughs> I'll cry if I want to. It's a void zero saying. And it looks like your eye must have ate something too. I just saw your uh, your eye was doing like a happy dance in the background. Also, Sully, please. I keep putting Sully on the floor, and he keeps uh, just jumping back up again and farting with my microphone. 
I think my favorite thing about this garden, so sorry, we were talking about the Emerald Coast Garden. I really like how the background, like the clouds or whatever, are the like same as Emerald Coast, or at least I'm pretty sure it is. Like I'm pretty sure it's the same like skybox texture or whatever you want to call it. It looks awesome. I think it's a really cool background. The view looks really good from up here, honestly. Um, this is pretty cool. Drawing in the tree. Yeah, doing some graffiti. Not a fan of nature. Definitely not a tree hugger here. The tree graffitier. <laughs> Very relatable, Thanatos. <laughs> Alright, here, sir. I'm gonna stop paying attention to the garden as much now. Oh, Sully, I swear. I put Sully on the ground probably six times now. And every time, he just immediately jumps back up. Okay, I just put him down again. Let's see if he tries to bug me again. He's not going in the view of the camera, sadly. He's going where the camera is, Steven. So it's not even like I can turn the camera so you guys can see him. All right, now he's just sitting on my lap. Okay, hopefully he just chills here. All right, so sorry. Here, I'll get a better view here. Uh, let's watch like over, over here maybe. There we go, it's not a bad view. Okay, so here, I'm gonna be doing some coding now. So sorry if I miss any messages in the chat. I'll try my best to read it, but a little bit preoccupied at the moment. Now that they sent me kind of the instructions for doing this, I feel like kind of an idiot. I feel like I probably should have figured this out sooner. Now that I'm looking at it, it's like not the most complicated thing. Custom fruit function two. Oh my god, and slowly immediately goes right back up to the freaking microphone. He just wants to talk to you guys, I guess, but he's like too shy to actually meow. He just wants to be like near the microphone. Green color on the water. I'm not sure if I know what you mean, uh, Karma Chaos. I'm giving him lots of pets right now for you guys. He's loving it. It's distracting me a lot, but he's, he's not complaining. He's liking it. Let's see, what, uh, what should I do for a test here for a second fruit function? Um, let's make it so chow. Um, so right now I have dizziness set as the default. Let's do, what's what's an emotion, you guys? What's a chow emotion? Let me pull up my editor here. Um, let's do, let's do anger. Maybe, maybe we can see if uh, we can make a food that makes chow angry real quick. That'll be our tester. The tail saga saying anger too. Okay, here, let's try this. Alright, emotion. Anger. Okay, this might work. Anger, and what else? I can put another one here. What else do you guys say in chat? Oatmeal cookies? Wait, what? <laughs> beard could do that. Guess, okay, yeah, maybe we'll do the beard as a test. That's a good idea, Renegade. We'll test, we'll test the beard, making them really angry. And I'll still keep dizziness, but instead of having it at a somewhat low value, like it was with Cosmic Brownie, I'll set it up like really high. So the beer is just gonna make them dizzy and angry. Okay, let's test this out. Beer, function two. Huh, I don't like that. I'm getting an error in my code, which is not good. What am I missing here? Get Why is it airing? What? Hmm. 
Alright, well, I'm just gonna try building it anyways, see what happens. Yeah, it did error. What? Fruit function. Oh, it's because I didn't. Ah, I forgot everything's case sensitive. Coding is like very picky. If you like even just slightly mess up something, it like kind of just like messes everything up. It's not good. Well, it's, it's probably good that it's like that because it's probably important, but. Damn, if someone knew it, it's very confusing. All right, here, we're gonna try resetting our garden. I might have beer working, potentially not as fully intended, but close enough that um, it's a big step in progress here. So if this actually works right away that I've already like got the emotions working better, then I'd say this is a very productive stream, even though I've done like very little so far in terms of actually, um, in terms of making models and stuff and like importing stuff. I've been pretty slow with that, but if I can get the motions working, that is, that's a big W in my book. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> 07 for Bowen. <laughs> Good luck, Bowen. <laughs> IQ rapidly dropping. God, Sully is seriously every like three seconds he's jumping up on my desk and just trying to bug me. I love you, Sully, but it's not the time. We're about to have our big breakthrough. If you're gonna be here, Sully, like sit on my lap or something so I can pet you in celebration. All right, here now the game's starting up. Sorry, hopefully you guys didn't mind staring at the Sully gift for a moment. He's not on camera, but you can look at him getting pet on loop. All right, here we go. All right, moment of truth. And for this test run, instead of going in a normal garden, I'm gonna go actually in my test egg garden where we've got Choa Choa ready. Choa Choa is gonna be our tester here. Let's see, so first I gotta spawn in some beers. All right, this actually is not great. It's Choa Choa, I just realized he's gonna be the one eating the beers here and Choa Choa is definitely a baby, but whatever. Oh, someone else also posted a label? Okay, I'll check that out here in a second. Let's see, so Choa. And I'm gonna be watching Choa on the editor. So right now Choa is not angry. They're not really, they're a little bit dizzy because I gave them a cosmic brownie already as a tester at some point. They're not very hungry, okay, wait, wait. It's the last bite I'm pretty sure that gives them the effect. Okay, let's watch this. So if this all works, if this works like properly, they should get angry and like very dizzy upon the last bite. It worked, it worked. They still got joyful, they got really happy, but they got dizzy, it actually worked. Oh, that's a good point, Tail Soccer. Yeah, I think you're right about that. But it did work, on the editor, it does show that their anger is maxed out now. And they are a little bit dizzy. But they should be normal again here in a second. I think it's once the Disney gets to like 70, they can like walk around normally. Is it 70 now? Let's see. Oh, maybe they're just stuck in like a dizziness loop for a little while. Now it's down to 45. Okay, now, oh my god, they are hungover. <laughs> the camera kind of missed it there, but he's definitely slumping. Oh, you can see the anger did work. You can see his uh, his like eyes are more angry now. He's still really happy though. So actually, maybe I'll leave the joy in. Like it's kind of fitting, I think. It's a very confused drunk. He's happy, he's angry, dizzy. He's going through everything right now. <laughs> Oh, Nostalgia Ninja, there you are. Thank you so much for your help. It looks like uh, the code you sent uh, worked. I didn't like put it exactly. I decided to test it for one of my other uh, foods instead. But uh, the chow beer is now working. It now makes your chow angry and um, a little bit dizzy. Although I'm gonna have to adjust it. I don't know if I want them to be like full on angry and full on dizzy, but I just put them at extreme values for now just so we can test it. And it looks like it works, so I will, I'll probably end up adjusting all the other foods off stream. I won't do it on stream, so it'll take a while. And I like don't know exactly what I want yet for every food either. Um, like what should pizza do? What do you guys think? Should pizza raise energy a whole bunch? Or maybe pizza's just a more normal food and doesn't have any like weird effects? I don't know. But uh, thank you so much Nostalgia Ninja for all your help. I really appreciate it. 
Hopefully you're still here in chat, but uh, we gave you a whole bunch of A ranks earlier. I think uh, if chat could send some more A ranks, that'd be awesome. Now Nostalgia, uh, Nostalgia Ninja is actually here. I'll send some myself. Thank you so much, Nostalgia Ninja. You rock. This is only possible because of you. I'm very, uh, very happy with the mod so far. Still got lots of work to do, but um, I would not be anywhere near this like finished and like into it if it uh, wasn't for you. So thank you so much. The one thing I still got to fix though, maybe it's just because of like the models I have. I don't know, but the black market's like really messed up now. Uh, NN. I don't know if I should call you NN or Nostalgia Ninja, Nostalgia Ninja but. Um, some reason I don't know what happened. I didn't adjust the cosmic brownie. The like it was initially invisible, and then it was working when you like sent me that new model, and now it's not visible again. And I'm pretty sure I didn't change out the model again. I'll have to do a quick double test and like re-download the one you sent and like really confirm. But I don't remember changing out the model at any point, so I don't know why it's suddenly invisible now. But to top it off, basically every other model, I think actually every single model in my mod is like really screwed up in the black market. Uh, the chocolate bar is like tiny. And then it's fine. Okay, I might do that. It's a little bit easier than Nostalgia Ninja. Um, so and then, but yeah, the chocolate bar is really tiny. The pizza is also really tiny. Despite the models being like normal size in the gardens, I don't really, I don't know. The final mod just might have these. I don't really know how to fix them. And then, for some reason, so those ones are all tiny. And then the beer, for reference, is massive. It like <laughs> envelops the whole screen. It doesn't even actually show up in the picture at all. The picture's just black there, but you can see the models clearly spawned. And then what was another weird one? Oh, the milk. I think the milk was like one of the more normal ones, but normal in quotation marks is still not very normal. Maybe add a slice of pie? Yeah, I'll just look into it. I definitely want to add some like more Animal Crossing stuff. Like I was saying earlier, the cider uh, from Animal Crossing I want to add. Um, there was like an ice cream cone that had like two scoops I want to add. This one's kind of like soft serve, but there's like an Animal Crossing, like just two like solid like hard ice cream scoops. So I'm going to try and add that here soon too. But I don't know, it's not like the big, at the end of the world that the model's a little bit messed up, but we'll see. Oh, it's 5 a.m. where we're at, oh my. I forgot, yeah, you're, uh, you're in South Africa, right? I think, I gotta double check. Maybe I probably got the wrong country. I don't actually remember. I know you're somewhere, like, nowhere near where I am, though. Oh, it is South Africa. Okay, I was right. Night shift. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, no rush. Uh, yeah, if you have any idea what causes that or how to fix it, um, definitely let me know. It's not like the end of the world. So, like, as long as the models work normally in the garden, I honestly don't really even care that much. But it definitely does make the mod look much less polished when the black market is just like screwed up <laughs> but in garden though everything is for the most part pretty normal i do need to make the milk model maybe a little bit smaller although i don't know some of you guys in chat said you liked the big like full-on milk jug even though it's like literally the size of the chow i think it's bigger than the chow actually <laughs> yeah they're drinking a whole thing of milk that's like bigger than them so i don't know you can see now they're gonna get tired though they're gonna have the cosmic brownie effect but instead, if you give them the beer, they'll um, be a little bit angry instead. I don't think they get tired. I can't remember if I put that in for the beer or not, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty excited with our progress, though, here today. We got... Well, I guess I didn't even really make that much progress on stream. I fixed I fixed ice cream models. They're now, like, a normal size and not clipping through the floor, uh, the floor crazily. We got... The beers actually have a different emotion now, and the rest of them will, too, here soon. Or what I might end up doing is I might give a whole bunch of the foods the same effect where they just kind of make the chow happy. And then maybe like the beer and the cosmic brownie are the ones that have separate effects rather than all of them having separate ones. That'd definitely be a lot easier to code, but I don't know. Here, let's switch up the gardens though. Now that we know the beer works, we can go back into a normal one. Right, let's go garden one. Need some milk? Is that too much milk? You see how much milk they drink? They're like, chow and chow literally just drink their like body weight in milk. Maybe even more in their body weight, honestly. Like, there's a lot of milk in there. Get a nice ice cream for Nana. I really like the ice cream. I think this one really turned out well. Especially because it was like kind of messed up at the start. It was like way too big. And like really clipping 
through the floor, and I think at one point it was flying. So ice cream turned out really well. I'm happy about that. And I'm really happy that the beers like got the different effects now. That was like one thing. That was like the only thing left of like the mod that I like didn't really know how to do. That I still like of the work I still had to do for the mod. It was the one thing I didn't know how to do at all. So I'm really glad that uh, NN was able to help out with that. Really appreciate that. But honestly, I think I might end the stream here right away. Um, only because I know that um, there's a whole bunch of coding that needs to be done. And I want to get it done soon. I'm like really motivated right now. And I know if I do it on stream, I will not be able to do it anywhere near as quickly. And my goal of releasing this mod this weekend might not happen. So I'm going to probably end the stream here. And try and finish the rest of the coding for this mod. My goal is to have this released by like Saturday or Sunday. I don't know 100% if that'll happen. It kind of depends how quickly I can like troubleshoot some of the issues. Um, like what NN, uh, NN was saying they'd take a look at, like the black market stuff. So, I don't know. If, if I'm not able to fix that by the weekend, it's not the end of the world. I'll probably still release the mod anyways, even if the black market's a bit buggy. But, um, yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good about the progress made so far. And I think I know generally what I want to do for the rest of the mod. And thank you for the reminder there, Bone. Let's go take a peek. Who was it that submitted it? I don't know if I saw who it was. It was 33 Panda Gamer. Ah, okay. I like the label they did, too. They're kind of going from, like, a, a Chaos Cola um, kind of copy here. I like it. Here, let me pull that one up on stream. You guys are giving me a really tough decision now. Damn, I've got like three labels here that are all really good. Like to the point where I think I almost need to make like another beer just so we can use all of them. But I really like this one. Show a beer that's got kind of like the dots in the background, kind of like the Chaos Cola hat. Maybe make three beers. The only problem with that is that all of them are the same branding, I think. This one's Choa beer. This one's also Choa beer. I think they're all Choa beer, right? Yeah, they all say Choa beer. So maybe, maybe if we changed one of them to like, maybe there's like a plum ale. Ooh, I kind of like the idea of that. I don't know which one I'd change though, because you guys would probably have to redo it, which would kind of suck. But maybe like, one's a Choa beer, one's a plum ale. And plum ale kind of works because like, plum ale's a real thing. Like plum is a fruit, it, like that just actually exists. So like plum ale, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very creative. I'm a little tired, but. Maybe some like different beer brand ideas is not a bad idea. But I really do like these uh, these labels you guys created. Thank you so much everyone who uh, made one of these. Or I guess I can actually like specifically shout them out. This one was by LC. Thank you for making that one, LC. This one was by Thanatos. And this one was by 33 Panda Gamer. So I don't really know exactly which one I'll go with. Currently, the first one is what's loaded in the mod right now. Um, if I do end up going with this one, I probably will make some very slight adjustments to it. I think the Choa beer text could be moved a little bit to the left, probably. Because I noticed that when the can was in the garden, the texture like kind of wraps around a little weird. Um, here, let me change one of these ice creams to it so I can kind of explain. And sorry, Thantos, I never actually pulled in the texture for yours this stream. Just swapping out textures is a little bit of an annoying process, so... Until I have like a final label, I don't really want to have to change it too much, just because it's... Not the easiest thing in the world. It's not like it's super hard, but um, it's definitely a little bit tricky. And I don't want to like mess it up too much. But here, let's see. Oh, what's it if I spawned it longer? My bad. Should be a beer here now somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it by the tree. So here's what we got so far. Yeah, I think that could be spaced out a little bit, just the A from like the the like little Chow logo. But other than that, I really like this one. This one's really good. I'm just trying to like imagine in my head now what the other ones would look like without actually like importing them. <laughs> Although I might import them eventually anyways just to test it, but I think this one would look pretty good. I like the little picture Thanatos drew of the, the like dizzy Chow, or the Chow that had been drinking. I like that a lot. Last one we had. And this one looks really good too. I really like this one. This one's the one that I think most looks most like it's an actual in-game texture. This one like makes me think this actually could have been in like Sonic Adventure 2, which I really like. Not that the other ones aren't good, but I feel like they're like more obviously not vanilla. Whereas this one I feel like kinda is more of a vanilla look. But I don't know, they're all really good. I really like all of them. I was saying earlier, uh, that if like Thanatos or LC, if one of them just didn't make one, like the other one would be like a very easy choice to add to the mod. 
Same thing goes for 33 Panda Gamer now. These are all awesome. If there was only one that existed, I'd be happy fitting like any of them in the, the mod. They're all very good. Does it make you sad that your favorite Chao will reincarnate and you have to start over? I actually don't worry about that at all. My favorite Chao is permanently a baby. Except for in this garden, actually. This is the one garden where they're an Eggman Chao instead. And actually, I've been meaning to fix that for a while. So actually, I might do that real quick now while I'm thinking about it. But, uh, no, I actually can't relate exactly to what you're saying. Cause my my child is always a wee baby. Although I'm a dirty cheater, though. In vanilla game, this would not be possible. But here we go. Parma baby Choa Choa. Who still drinks some beer, anyways. <laughs> if you want the plum, you can change the picture or the color of yours. That could be cool. I'm trying to think, what would a plum eel look like? I guess, yeah, maybe if you just, like, slightly change the texture. Or like the the color I mean, like in the, the text. Or I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing. It's gonna be hard to choose, but I really appreciate all the uh, talented artists uh, helping out. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll end off stream here though. Been a little bit slow here, saying goodbye. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, thank you to everyone who super chatted or tipped today. Um, the next Chow Garden stream will be more of a normal one, um, where we're taking requests and whatnot. Didn't really get to that today just because of. You know, the modding and stuff. That was kind of the top priority. But I said a little bit earlier, I'm hoping to have this released this weekend. I'll end up posting like a video when it does go live so you guys can um, get like notified that way. If you guys aren't like actively on Game Banana, then also, oh my gosh, this, I forgot how fast that song gets. Oh my god. You know what? This is a good song to end it off. Thank you, Tailstalker, for the request. Yeah, this weekend, though, I'm hoping to have it posted. I'll definitely, uh, or have it published, I mean, so you guys can download. I'll post about it on the Chow Homies Discord, potentially even the Chow Island Discord, if I'm able to get the Chow Modder roll in there. So it should be available publicly this weekend, is the goal. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I hope you guys are too. And, yeah, just thank you all, you guys, for hanging out and uh, offering your suggestions too while I was making this mod. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys at the uh, next stream or on the Discord if you're on there. But take care, everyone. Have a good rest of your night.